Hey y'all, welcome to Game Day with Heavy Cardboard, where we teach, play, and discuss medium and heavy strategy board games, war games, 18xx, and tonight we're featuring Vital Lacerda's Lisboa, which is all about rebuilding the city of Lisbon, Spain after a devastating earthquake back in 1755. So, as I said, designed by friend of the show Vital Lacerda, published by Ego Griffin Games. As y'all know, I'm Edward Euler. Tonight, Pleased to be joined by two of my very good friends, Matt, hello, technical guru behind Heavy Cardboard, as well as Dan. Heyo. Nice shirt, by the way, Dan. Thanks. All right. We originally were going to be four uh, tonight. That was the plan. But as you all, I'm sure know, life happens. So we're three. All that means is a little bit quicker game, possibly, tonight. So we'll see how it goes. So, fellas, thank you for joining me, as well as everybody around the world, whether it's live, watching, uh, here in the herd, or after the fact. We really, really appreciate you all being a part of this, so thank you. So, before we get started, uh, with us being on the eve of Origins Game Fair here, which Amanda and I are going to be attending, I wanted to show off the first... I don't want to say mass-produced, but I don't know any other way to mass-distribute. I, I Okay... There are more than just a hundred of them promo uh, that was made for us for this game. So seriously, a massive thank you goes to everybody over at Ego Griffin Games, Vital himself, as well as, you know, how cool is it that we have our mascot, Davis, this guy up here, drawn by the Ian O'Toole. So personally, I think that's pretty cool, and this is what it looks like. Now, the reason I bring this up with the Eve of Origins, I'm, I was told these are supposed to be given to us in stock, uh, and we're going to hand out a number of these during Origins as well as at other conventions throughout the summer and fall of this year. As well as Eagle Griffin's going to have some of them, provided they came in. Now, as you all know, the actual uh, game, the, the production copy, which we're actually playing with tonight, um, was delayed, unfortunately, so these copies, for the most part, aren't going to be available until August. However, I know they airship some, I don't know the quantity, for folks to purchase at Origins, and hopefully they have the promo too, which I think is really kind of cool. Uh, I'm super excited about that. Anyway, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So I say we go ahead and get started. <coughs> so Dan's going to read kind of a preamble here. And then, uh, then we'll go ahead and get into the teach. If you joined us last night for Kanban, it's an involved teach, but all of a sudden, seems a lot easier, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Pretty simple. Really. Right, yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, Not bad. We'll, we'll get into that. <laughs> right. All right, so, all right, Dan, take it away, and the king will judge you in the meantime. Okay. That's making me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> On November 1st, 1755, on All Saints Day, Lisboa suffered an earthquake of an estimated magnitude of 8.5 to 9.0, followed by a tsunami and three days of fires. The city was almost completely destroyed. The Marquis of Pombal, Sebastião José de Carvalho e Melo, was the prime minister at the time, and the king put him in charge of the reconstruction of Lisboa. The king and the prime minister immediately launched efforts to rebuild the city. On December 4th, 1755, little more than a month after the catastrophe, the chief engineer of the realm, Manuel de Maya, presented his plans to rebuild Lisboa. Maya presented five options, including abandoning Lisboa altogether. <gasps> <laughs> that wouldn't have made a very fun game. No, uh, it wouldn't have. Rebuilding with recycled ruins. <laughs> widening the streets and even building a completely new city. The chosen plan boldly proposed raising the entire Baja quarter and laying out new streets without restraint. Eugenio dos Santos and Carlos Mardel were the architects in charge of the rebuilding. In less than a year, the city was cleared of debris. Because the king wanted to have a new and perfectly ordered city, he commissioned the construction of big squares, straight, large avenues, and widened streets with related types of business businesses as if each street had its own motto. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing at the chat. The king looks like John Lovitz. All right, go ahead. <laughs> a game of Lisboa is set over a span of 22 years. You play the roles of influential nobles who survived the earthquake, tsunami, and fires, and who will help in the reconstruction and economic development of the new city to receive graces from the king and the marquis. 
You will work with the architects to build Lisboa anew in order to gain influence, and the most important thing of all, wigs. Yeah, buddy. That's not a joke. All right. It says so, wigs. All right. <laughs> Nailed those pronunciations. Seriously. Well, I, you are a linguist. I am. Yeah. All right. I at least sounded convincing. That's uh, all I, I bought it. I say okay. with confidence and you're good. Awesome. All right. So here we go. This is Lisboa. <gasps> all right. So normally we would have our cameras up for on all the players. But again, kind of like uh, Kanban. I, it's a rather involved teach, and I really want people to be able to focus on the actual board itself and everything that I'm trying to explain with the teaching. So therefore, that's why the cameras are not up right now. They will be here after I'm done teaching, but I did want to at least put the chat up for you guys to be able to uh, follow along, or I guess for those after the fact following along. All right, so here we go. Lisboa is played over two periods, each depicts or each over a variable number of rounds. On each player's turn, <laughs> Vital said it's a very simple game. You have a hand of five cards. You play one card, you do actions, you draw a card. Simple game. Sure, <laughs> Vital, it's that simple. Right. So when a player manages to complete two sets of rubble or three of the decks in the political display are empty that triggers the end of the first time period and then we're going to at the end of that player's turn then we're going to do some resetting out here then we're going to do it again and then let me show you all this here is the player's tableau so when two of these sets of rubble are completed or at the after on the second half of the game after four sets are completed or Give me one sec, I'll fix the chat here. There we go. Or with, after we've reset, three of the decks are empty. That triggers the end of the game at the end of the round. Then everybody around the table will take one more turn. Then we're going to count up wigs. Whoever has the most wigs wins. Now, thematically, wigs were a big deal and were a, uh, a symbol of status. And that's why wigs are victory points. So you have the, oops, I didn't change cameras, did I? Sorry. So, wigs, the wig track or the victory point track is around the outside of the board, except over here, it actually jumps. Actually, let me back that out just a hair. There we go. It actually jumps from there down from 38 down to 39, continues. The good news, though, they had the, uh, the smarts to make that to where it's 100 points, even though it jumps over there. Oh, yeah. All right. So, what do you do in the game? All right. So, before we get into the actual... Uh, steps of the game. Let's go ahead and talk about the board. Now, again, this is Ian O'Toole's artwork, and this is, uh, it was done in the style of the tiles and the different building materials that were used in the period, hence why it's very blue, right? <laughs> but it's actually, I think it, it, it looks busy, kind of like Kanban mm -hmm. looks busy when you're uh, new to the game and uninitiated. However, as you know the game, and all of us have played this game a number of times now, it does definitely clear up. Yeah. All right, so here we have the political card display. So this is where we're going to get our cards. Uh, after we play a card, we will draw one of these from these four decks. They're all face up. I actually just put them upside down so that it reminds us to flip over a card. Then we have uh, over here, we have the different buildings that we're going to be able to build. We have the stores, which are here on the different streets. So you have four different streets, which will coordinate with the different goods that are in the game. On the outside, we have buildings, which are public buildings that we're going to be able to build. And this actually follows the actual rebuilding of Lisbon. And I think that's really thematic, the yeah. way the uh, theme really does tie <coughs> into how the buildings look. Over here, we have the cathedral and being able to deal with the cardinal. Here is the treasury track. We have an influence track down here. We have the market. And I don't want to say variable market because this market only goes in one direction. It only goes down. It will never climb back up. So the four goods, this is the beginning worth of those goods and they will only decrease as the game goes. Also, all these cubes that are around the outside of the different buildings and in the building spaces as well as below the multipliers here 
are represent the three different types of rubble. So there is earthquake damage rubble, which is the, the nude or plain looking wood. It is fire damage, which are the red cubes, thematically makes mm -hmm. sense. And tsunami damage or water damage, which are the blue cubes all the way around. Up here, we have the actual display of the three nobles. You have the king, the marquis, and then Demaya, who is the builder. We have where we're going to be able to play cards when we visit the nobles, and then the different actions that are available. And that pretty much covers uh, just a very high overview of the board itself. Then, let me go ahead and talk about the tableau. So on your tableau here, you have different places to place cards. So you have three different locations for nobles no, um, marked off here. So three locations for nobles or where you'll place the ship cards. Treasury cards will be tucked underneath. You have room for three of those as well. As you build buildings, ownership of these markers will be down here, or you'll be taking these off your board, placing them on the buildings. You have state officials right here. Everybody starts with one of those on the board. You have cardinal or uh, clergy tiles, which you'll get uh, from the, the cardinal and the church area. You have plans to be able to build public buildings, and then you have royal favors over here, which if you're familiar with the gallerist, this is going to uh, be very familiar in the ability to follow other players' actions. This is where we store the different rubble, and there are little dots in the middle of all of these. So this top row is for water or uh, tsunami damage, fire damage, earthquake damage, and last but not least, we have the goods that you'll be able to acquire throughout the game. So physically, that's everything pretty much that's in the game. So now let's go, again, the easiest way I know how to teach is kind of go through the different actions that you can take on a player's turn. So first and foremost, everyone is going to start with blue cards, which represent that time period, which is 1755 to 1757, so only three years. Everyone's going to start with a hand of five different cards. And I'm just going to show you out here what the different cards are. Depending on what they are, noble cards or treasury cards will dictate where you can play them. If you play to your portfolio, which is one option, if it's a noble card, you will then tuck the card underneath on the top of your display. If you play a treasury card to your tableau or to your portfolio, you will tuck it underneath from the treasury side. So that's one possible thing that you can do. The other option to be able to play cards is out on the actual main board, which is out here when you go out and visit a noble. So when VTOL jokes, and, so, and actually I'm going to zoom in here because we're gonna be talking about this area of the board for the most part uh, early on. When VTOL jokes and says the game's real simple, you play a card into one of three places, meaning the top or bottom of your portfolio, or out to the nobles, you then do some sort of action, and then you draw a card. It really is that easy, and it really isn't, okay? So, let's take a look at the three different nobles first. So, you don't really need to see the cards. We have Demaya, who is the builder, the Marquis, which corresponds to <coughs> endgame scoring, and we have the King, which is going to allow you to build uh, public buildings, for the most part. So, depending on which card you play, it's going to afford you different actions. So first and foremost, if this is my hand of cards and I say I'm going to play one of these three cards, it does not matter which, for right now, which card I play, I say I'm going to play it to my portfolio. All right, easy enough. So first things first, I do whatever the benefit is at the bottom. Notice the arrows that show that it's pointing down in whereas the arrows for the treasury cards point up. And that's a little reminder on where they can be tucked into your portfolio. You're going to immediately do either a benefit in this case, or if it has a red X, a deficit penalty. or you will pay a penalty. penalty. There you go. What you will have to pay. So for instance, if I play Demaya and it does not matter which spot I place them in, they're all the same. So me being American, I'll probably start on the left. So this means I will get a plan. So I will do whatever that is or pay whatever penalty this shows, which we'll get into. I'll tuck it into my uh, tableau. And then 
I have two choices of things that I can do. I can either sell goods to a ship, which we'll talk about in a little bit, or I can do any mix of one or two of these six actions out here with the different nobles. It does not matter which card I played to my tableau as far as which goods or which actions I can take. What does matter is what goods you actually possess. So if you, yep, you can barely see down here at the bottom. Let me point this way. And let me zoom out just a hair. There we go. So right here, it shows that either of these actions that correspond with, De, with Demaya want either a tool or a gold resource. You're, you're buying curry or you're, you're currying favor, i.e. you're bribing these guys is how I see it, all right? So you want to do either of these actions, it will cost you a gold or a tool in which to do it. Everybody likes gold, but if you visit or you want to take either of these actions, you must play books or gold, or over here, it's cloth or gold. I'll be honest, we're probably gonna call these paper towels down here because that's kind of what they look like. This kind of looks like sandwiches or books, and then <clears throat> tools or an anchor. The marquee likes his PB and J. He does, right? It does look like an anchor. <laughs> it really does, right? All right, so we all have our slang, so I apologize if we revert back to that, all right? So over here, we have a goods display. The number of goods that you can have in your display is going to be determined by the number of sets of rubble that you have cleared. You start out with a maximum of two. That also tells you how many cards in your display that you may have at a given time. So I'm allowed to have a maximum of two cards in my display. Based on this number, I only have one, cool. If I wish to place a third, so if I have these two cards, sorry, if I have these two cards and I wish to play, say, a third card, one of these two cards will have to be removed, discarded out of the game, then I can play that. This also tells you how many of each good that you're allowed to have in your supply, in your warehouse. So right now it's two, so I have one of each, good to go. If I had two of each, I'm good to go. As you collect sets of rubble, meaning one uh, water damage, one fire damage, one earthquake damage, you're going to remove one of these and oh, look at that, it's a plus one. So that now tells you I can have three cards in my display, a maximum, or and up to three of a type of good. So that kind of is a good motivator to collect to help the city clear the rubble, which again, the theme comes yeah, through. absolutely. All right, so getting back, I play a card to my tableau, or if I play, I'm sorry, one of the nobles to my tableau, I do whatever is on the bottom of the card, then I can either sell goods, which we have not talked about, or I can take some goods and I may play them on any of these six actions. So let's go over what these six actions are. So if I cover this, which is placing up to two state officials out here, and let me bring it back in just a hair, there we go. Two state officials, I cover that with the good, I spend the good essentially. Then I may place two state officials off of my tableau, which are these guys down here, really nice wooden meeples, cool. And then I place them out here in the state official area for the three different nobles. Note, I cannot place two in the same at the same time, but I could go one here and I could go one there. Cool, easy enough. We'll get into the whys later. Just know that's the actual physical action. Next is getting a plan. All right, so if I played over here, or better yet, if I played that, I'm allowed to do up to two of these actions. I then look, okay, he wants tools. I can take a tool off of my board and place it over there and get a plan. Note, I cannot do another uh, state official action because it's covered, so you're uh, able to do one or two of these, you just cannot do two of the same. So if I want to get a plan, the plans are over here, I which, oh, you camera. can't, yeah it is, my <laughs> bad, sorry guys. Keep going. It's only like a mile. You're right, <laughs> seriously, it is a big board. <laughs> Oh, uh, the audio out of, out of sync? I apologize. We'll keep going and see how it goes. Yeah. All right. So getting a plan. The plans are these over here, which allow you to build public buildings, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. You must have a plan, whether it's a blue or a green plan, to build these public buildings, which go into the public building place around the outer part of the board. Note, everybody starts with one plan here in their tableau 
to begin with, okay? So pretty simple. You take the top one, and these do get, uh, these require state officials, which we'll explain here in a little bit, and they get more difficult as the deck, or the, the stack of tiles gets depleted. Oh, the heavy cardboard variant of not doing that's kind of fun. <laughs> which we did at the very beginning. We missed the rule that you're supposed to seed these. The fewest state officials to most, we just shuffled them. And wow, I have five state officials I need to spend. Yeah. That's expensive. All yeah. right. So yeah, always the, the heavy cardboard variant. Always play it harder. All right. So that's these two actions. Next, we'll talk about these two over here. These require either gold or cloth or paper towels. So we'll start with the royal favor. This is pretty cool. So if you cover that, you're allowed to take one royal favor from one of the nobles that you do not have. So on my tableau, we randomly, uh, everybody starts with one of these. You're allowed one of each. You're not allowed to have multiples at a given time of the same one, mm -hmm. but you are allowed to have one of each. So in this case, I could not take a Demaya or a uh, royal favor if I played over here. But what I can, I can take a marquee, I can take a king. Now I say, you know, randomly, everybody has one of the, a different one. Right. I figured that was a good way to do it. Then let's go ahead and talk about the <clears throat> cardinal. Uh, visiting the cathedral area or uh, visiting the cardinal. And what that is over here, either playing again, gold or a paper towel there, the cardinal. Really nice, well-cut meeple. That's fantastic. pretty cool. I dig it, right? You're allowed to move the cardinal one or two spaces. So he jumps the clergy tiles that are existing out here. So it would be one, and then you have access to taking one of those two clergy tiles, or two, and jumps one of those, or jumps that clergy tile, and you have access now to one of those two. And all of these, there are, oh God, I want to say 60 that think or, that or think some ungodly amount. Yeah. There is. There, there is a huge, massive number. In fact, I'm going to look that up while I look real quick. There are, I'm sorry, there's only 37 <laughs> of those. If I apologize. If you count both sides, though, sure. 72. So yeah. there, <laughs> or, or 74, <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> uh, so 37 of these, um, they're all rule breakers, and they're going. You, everybody starts with two of them. And I have them flipped over to be able to show you, reveal these later. But everyone's going to start with two. And then before the game starts, they have to discard one back into the bag. So everyone starts with one rule breaker. Okay. So that's visiting with the uh, Cardinal. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to skip the rest of that and then move back over here. Then there are two other actions that you can choose whenever you tuck a card into your tableau. You may either build a ship, or produce goods. So we'll start with uh, building a ship, or yeah, uh, purchasing a ship. I forget which the terminology is. The ship display are these right here, and I'll actually show you what they look like on this. So a ship card has some information on it here. So first things first, if you purchase a card or purchase a ship, the number of goods that it requires you to discard of different type is shown right here. So it's any one good. So in other words, I will have had to have played a good here to build the ship, and then I must discard one good from my, ta or from my tableau. It does not matter what it is. However, later on, as we go, there will be ship and these increase. This is also their cargo hold in which you must discard different types of goods. So in this case, I would need to discard two different types of good. I could not do it because I only have one good. Right. But getting back to the example, so to be able to take the, the card, I must play a either a book or a gold out here on the board. Then I must discard a, go a good here. Then I tuck it into my display. But when I do, I do some things that the card tells me. So first off, it has a treasury marker and then it has a influence uh, marker. So what it says is the treasury moves up. So the treasury down here, fancy treasury marker normally sits like this. We will do it like that so you all can see. It says to increase the treasury one step. Done, easy enough. Then it says you're going to score influence. All right, that's what this little crown shows and it also corresponds with this symbol right here 
This is the influence track. That makes a lot of sense. So when you tuck this, you're going to increase the treasury, then you're going to score influence for yourself. And influence is any card that's up here. The numbers range, I think it's zero to three. I believe so. So in this case, uh, we have zero plus two plus three, five influence. So we come back over here to the influence track. I'm yellow. I would go from four up to nine influence. That's getting a ship. Cool? All cool. right. The producing goods out here. I'm going to double back on this because it makes sense to actually talk about buildings first yep. because you need, or I should say stores first, you need to have built stores before you can produce goods, which makes sense. Again, there must be a, a place to purchase or to uh, create yeah. demand in the stores. Okay? All right. Cool. All right. So, recapping, because I realize this is a ton of information here. On your turn, <coughs> you have five cards in your hand. You choose. You may play a card to your tableau. If you do, you immediately do. So in this case, now that we've explained that you get a plan, which is the exact same symbol as this, which means you get a plan over there and you are allowed multiples of the same type. So you can have green or blue plans or multiples of each. You tuck that in and then you may either sell goods to a ship or play one or two goods out onto the main board. So now that we've talked about ships, let's talk about selling goods. You must either. A uh, good point. If you cannot do the action, you cannot do the action. Yep. All right, you must be able to do it. So play a card, do the bottom, and then you may sell goods to a ship or play out on the tableau, mm -hmm. one of those two. So let's talk about selling goods to a ship. Well, we already talked about this is how many goods that you must discard when you, uh, when you uh, build the ship. However, this is also its cargo hold. Well, right now, between all of us, if I'm the first player to build the ship, there's only one ship available. It has a cargo hold of one. Well, I have, if I have multiple goods like I would maybe throughout the game, I can choose to sell any of these goods to my ship or anybody else's ship in the game, which is nice. I'm going to get money for it. The owner of the ship is going to get wigs or victory points. So it's a trade-off. So in this case, I sell to my own ship. I look over here and I say, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and sell my books to the ship. If that completes the hole, in other words, it fills the hole completely, huh? it flips that over and then we come over here, I sold the goods. Make sure, there we go. I sold books. Books are currently at a value of five. I would get five Reyes. Cool, easy enough? Yep, cool. Now, if I had a cargo hold of a later ship, say a cargo hold of two, I could sell a second good. Maybe I sell books and cloth here. All right, awesome. <coughs> well, that fills up that. I flip those over, over here. I then sold both of those. Wow, I get 10 Reyes instead. Cool. Now, the one thing I did not mention at the very beginning of every player's turn, the first thing they do, if they have a full cargo hold, is they empty the cargo hold and they score their points. So in this case, I would score two points. Notice it has one wig on each good, does not matter which good. It's always going to be worth one victory point. So I would clear these, these would go back into the general supply, and oh, I now have an empty ship for either myself or other players to use. Does that make sense? Is that pretty yeah. clear mm -hmm. to everybody yeah. present? All right. Yeah. Do you want to mention the bonus? The bonus? Oh, selling good bonus call. On the ship. Okay, yeah. so the level one ships, which are available when we're in the blue deck, meaning right here, has no bonus. However, as we add subsequent ships, for every good sold, they'll be worth one, two, or three Reyes more uh, per good sold. So yeah. nice little bonus. One other thing I did not mention, and I feel like it's a little TMI right now, but you can upgrade ships. So uh, instead of discarding this and having to build uh, a new ship with that requires two new goods of different types, I can discard this one, or I could 
pay two more goods and have multiple ships out here. Or I could discard this ship, pay the difference in goods, meaning one, right. cool, get rid of that ship, tuck that ship, everyone drives home in a Cadillac. I or always forget that. Okay, cool. Well, happy to help then. Yeah, nice. All right. So we are now two-thirds of the way through teaching this game, sort of, <laughs> at least according to Beats Hall. Because again, you play a card in one of three places. You either play a noble card here, and then either sell goods to your ship, or take one or two of these six available actions, or you play a treasury card, which you then, at the, bottom, at the top of the card, it says you get the treasury value and then deplete the treasury one step. So then, over yeah. here, exactly, the symbols match here. So we would take the money, I would get four reyes, and then we would drop that one step. So then, I tuck the card in. It's going to have a cool little rule breaker down here that's benefit me, just like the clergy town. <laughs> and then I can either sell to a ship, whether it's mine or someone else's, or play one or two goods out here for those actions there. That's two thirds of the things that you where you can play a card. Yeah. Is that making sense? Are you guys keeping up? Two thirds of the places you play cards, and we've only talked about half of the board. Yeah, you notice that? We yeah. literally have not gone past this area really. Of, we have not talked about that at all. No. So, you might be asking yourself, self, what happens if you play a card out there, which is called visiting the nobles. So, if you go and visit the nobles, you're going to play a card out here onto the main board, and we're going to bring this in a little so you guys can add uh, too far. Sorry, there we go. So you play a card out here, and then whosever turn it is, you put a courtier on there to signify whose turn it is. When I first played this game, I was like, really? That's the entire purpose of those meeples. Really? And then, after playing the game, I was like, oh, that was a really smart idea, because you're going to forget, because players can follow. Mm -hmm. All right? So, the very first thing... When you play here, you're going to place your courtier out there, and then you must pay influence. So how much influence do you pay? Well, indulge me, and let's say we have these three over here. Because I played Demaya, now these things do matter, where all these different items are located. So I played Demaya, which is the builder. I have one state official here. However, there are two state officials that are not mine here in the building. So I'm going to owe influence for each of these state officials. And if there are multiple state officials of other players, so for instance, if there's this, I would owe a total of one, two, three influence plus wherever the treasury are is with the influence marker right here. So in this case, one, two, three plus zero influence. I owe three influence. Well, I had gained it, uh, state officials out here, which helped. And then earlier, when I played the ship to my tableau, I built up my influence. Oh, I owe three influence. One, two, and three influence. All right, so now I have paid my influence to visit with the noble. Now, what does that grant me? Well, you do not have to pay a good to do either of these actions. You may do one of these and you, may, you must build a, a store or a shop in this case, okay? So you may do one of these for free. You must do that. The same goes whether I played the marquee or whether I played the king. I would pay influence based on um, state officials that are out here and where the treasury marker is. Then if I played the marquee, I may do one of these two goods. I must take a decree. The king, I may do one of these. I must build a uh, public building. Okay, so they're identical, just the main action and the uh, minor actions are what's different. So let's talk about now these three actions. So we'll start with the easiest one, <coughs> the marquee. If I played the marquee, boom, I pay the state officials, I pay the influence, et cetera, et cetera. I do, I either produce goods, I get a ship, paying whatever I need to for the ship, then I may take a decree card. So at the very top of the board, if you guys will vanna, thank you, the very top of the board are decree cards. What these are, are end game victory point uh, generators. These are end game goals. 
which kind of give you something to target after, as well as uh, possibly, potentially, worth a lot of points. You are not limited by how many of those you can take. So if you end up taking, I don't know, 15 of them because, well, you're a decree monger, monger. Uh, then, uh, then in that case, then you're going to potentially be able to score a ton of points when we score those at the end of the game. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. One, one more thing on that. You might want to explain where these go. Good call. Oh, yeah. All right. So let's, uh, you know what? I will double, I okay. will double back on that. So that's the marquee. Very simple. You play to visit. You pay your influence. You may do one of those. <laughs> then you must take a decree card. Cool. And those decree cards never refill until the end of my turn. Right. All right. So now let's go ahead and talk about Demaya, which is the second easiest action that we're going to talk about. So again, here, state officials, pay influence, treasury, etc. Do one of those, then build a building. All right. So now uh, I'm going to use Dan's hands over here. Dan's hands. All right, cool. <laughs> we're gonna, I'm going to use Dan's hands to show how to build a building. So if you'll notice, there are four different streets out there. There is the uh, blue street, the brown street, the pink street, and the orange street. And I'm sure they have names. And if you want Thank to, you. go for it. Knock yourself out. No way. I'm okay. Good. I'm good. So just know that they correspond <laughs> to the streets and the buildings. Oops. Other way. Sorry. There we go. Over on the far right edge of the screen. <coughs> All right. There's going to be majority scoring at the end of the game. That's what the numbers represent. We're not going to talk about that right now. But I went ahead. I played... Demaya, I did everything. I say I'm going to build a building. Okay, cool. What am I going to build? Well, because it's convenient and it's close to me, I say I'm going to build here. Now, these are Kickstarter little bonuses, which there are printed uh, little bonuses that everybody gets. However, the Kickstarter ones, we will, oh, that's coincidence, um, actually flip these over before the game starts. And so it gives a little variable oh, thing about cool. it. So that's nice. So whether that's there or not does not matter. So I say I'm going to build a building. First thing I do, I say I'm building on Orange Street. I have a choice. I can either build in a spot here on Orange Street facing this way or facing this way. So I would take the orange building up there. I would then immediately cover, and uh, Ian O'Toole has made a point that the sun always comes this way, hence the shadow is always that way. So make sure. All right, he got on me last time we did the playthrough. <laughs> so he got in trouble. Yeah, I did. Uh, so you place it. This little notch signifies where the door is. So if I were to play it facing this way on that location, that would be the pink street, which means I will have had to have grabbed the pink building instead of this. So I can either play it there or I can play it there. All right, so for this example, I say I'm going to, I'm short on Reyes. I go ahead, I take this, I immediately get whatever the bonus is. Before I've even paid for the building or anything like that, I get five Reyes from the bank. Awesome. I then place the building out here. Then next, if you're building a building, you can't build on rubble. You must help clear rubble. So where this building intersects with this end, I'm sorry, with either, oh, you know what? I forgot oh, to seed those. There we go. Thank you. Sorry, I. So if you fill those, sorry guys. Here, I'll start from the bottom there so you go. can explain. So to clear the rubble, you choose where this building intersects. So right now there are th these three rubble, and these three rubble that core that core uh, intersect at this building. So then I look and I choose, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead, maybe I take this rubble here. Then I bring it over to my player board. I then fill it in going left to right over here. Awesome, I now have helped the city as well as helped myself to be able to get that uh, row or that column of rubble, set of rubble. So now I have also made it cheaper to build this building because now I must pay a number of reyes a number of money based on what rubble is left. Again, where this intersects. So we have three pieces of rubble here. I have two pieces of rubble here. The cost for the rubble is down here on this handy dandy little chart. So if you look over here, 
we have two earthquake damage, which is six Reyes. And then we have one, two, three fire damage, which is two each, which is another six Reyes. So it's a total of 12 plus wherever the treasury is, which is 15 Reyes. You start with 10. Ah, but hold on. Not so fast, my friend. Remember, I just cleared this for five Reyes and I got this immediately. Oh, hey, I pay the 15 Reyes to the bank. Then I now have, I own that building. So how do I signify that? Back to our tableau. Wow, don't do that. <coughs> you then cool. have yeah, like a it. number of buildings that are ownership markers essentially for out here on the, on the main board. These must be built from bottom going up. So they all, I should say, five of the eight have special abilities or that they grant you once you've cleared them. The bottom one and the bottom left and the two middle ones have no special abilities. But let's say I decide I'm going to start with that one. As long as you start at the bottom, you're good to go. So what does that grant me? That means I pay one less good whenever I build the ship. Oh, real nice. That's, that's handy dandy. Now... I place ownership and we like to place them on the edge where the door is. So at a glance, you can see, oh wait, what way is that one facing? Oh, it's facing the orange street. I can see that at a glance. Okay, so I now have ownership. And then the very last thing to happen is I get to score this building. So how much do I score? Well, again, where this building, where this shop or this store intersects, with the public buildings. The public buildings are built around the outside edge. So what intersects with this one? We have this public building, we have this public building, and we have this public building. Public buildings look like this. So in other words, I get zero time plus zero plus zero times the multiplier, which are interchangeable here, and this is just randomly put out here. So zero plus zero plus zero times four, I score zero points. However, it's retroactive, meaning when we get to building the public buildings, if I or someone else builds a public building here, here, or here, I will then score <coughs> four points each time those are built. Maybe. Well, if they're built. If it has to match that. It, it, it does, it does, but yeah. we'll get there. Okay. All right, so that's, uh, that's building buildings. It sounds like a lot, but I will say this. These player aids are fantastic They're awesome. as far as reminding you on how to do things. All right, right through here and through here. Really, really helpful. All right, cool. All right. Um, the only other thing that you might want to mention there is when you go to build that building, if you were just a little bit short on cash, what would you do? Oh, good call. Oh, yeah. So down here on the influence track, and I think this is similar in Gallerist? It is. Yeah. Okay, all right. So where you are on this influence, you can spend influence for money. Somewhat thematic again. Yeah. So if I'm yellow, and let's say I was three to Reyes short, I would then drop down one, two, three money. And it doesn't matter. If I'm here, I'm still dropping down to the same spot because I lose three money. So that's not necessarily three influence. But hey, it, it, it's useful. Mm -hmm. And you cannot spend it the other way. You cannot spend money for influence. In addition to that, you can always spend victory points for influence as well. All right. It's a crappy exchange rate, one for one, but it is what it is. If you need it. Exactly. So we have now talked about Demaya, which is these action, one of these and building a building, which we just covered. We talked about the marquee, which is either of these, which we've talked about uh, building a ship. Mm -hmm. We have not talked about producing goods. We'll get there. And taking decree cards, which are end game scorers. Cool? All right. Now we have king cards. So if you play the king, it's good to be the king. Again, you play the card, you put your courtier on it, then you pay influence that isn't you. So if this, for instance, is down here, I would pay one, two, three, four influence now. If I here, it would be one, two, three minus one. I would only pay two influence. But as it is, if it's there in the middle, I pay my three influence. I may take one of those actions. Then I must build a public building. So what's a public building? 
that, again, these buildings here, as well as on the outer edge, are the available spaces in which to build a public building. In order to build a public building, you must have a corresponding plan. Well, I don't have any blue plans, but I do start out with a green plan. Cool, so I have that covered. I know I can build it. And note, it has three <coughs> state officials on here as well. So, again, I have a green plan, means I must build a green plan. I cannot pl uh, build the blue plan. So I say, I'm going to build this green plan. And hey, looky here. I went ahead and built on Yellow Street or on Gold Street. This, and I will show it because it shows up a little bit better here. This shows what street you're available to build this on, whether it's Gold Street or Blue Street in this case. There are some that only have a single color, meaning you can only build it on Brown Street. And I forget the name, so forgive me. Well, it only scores on that street. No, you can only, I believe. But the those. I, okay, I see what you're saying. Okay. So here, I can only build this on the north side on the Brown Street and on the north side on the Gold and Blue Street. Mm -hmm. So looking back over here, the Gold Street up here, but I can freely build them here on the sides. Gotcha. The color does not matter if you're building on the sides. Got it. Cool. We good? All right. So again, oop, wrong one. I say I'm going to build a, uh, a public building. I have a plan. I take the green plan. I say, oh, looky here. I've already built a building. This will have already been faced up. Just like building a, a, uh, a store, you immediately take whatever the benefit is, which in this case, and that's really weird that those ended up there. Yeah. I take a gold good, meaning one of these, place it onto my uh, tableau as long as I have room based on the number of sets of rubble, remember? Then I must pay state officials based on the number that are on my plan. My plan has a total of three state officials. So I come out here and I must remove a total of three yellow state officials. Uh-oh, I only have one. I can still build. So I must remove this one, but I'm too short. So now I have to hire them. And apparently they had unions back in the day because the state treasury, wherever that is, dictates the amount of money they're going to make. So I pay three reyes per. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if the, if the treasury has less money, or more, it would influence how much I'm paying. But as it is, I pay three per, I owe two, two state officials, so I would pay six reyes. Cool, all right. And hey, I now have that built. And I would take these two rubble as well. Whatever two happen to be up there, I place them down here on my tableau. And last but not least, I would then score wherever this is built. So that's Gold Street. I score for every building out here. And by I say I score, I mean the owner of the building will score that many points. So in this case, there's one. Cool. I, right here, one building. I score four points. Four Boom. Points. Or four wigs. Yeah. Cool. If I had placed it here, I also would score. If I had placed it here, I also would score. Okay? Easy enough. So that's public building. That's yep. pretty much it. Um, I realize, you know, just yep. saying... <clears throat> For a little clarification there, if you did place it there, that would score and the Blue Street would score? If there were stores there. If there were, if there were buildings there. For that one. Yes. Yeah. And I'm actually going to have to double check because I thought if it's on the side streets, the entire row scores, regardless of the color. I'll double check okay, that. Yeah. No big deal. Um, so again... The end of the era triggers when somebody has built two complete sets of rubble or when three of the cards are taken from here. The only thing I haven't talked about is following now. So after I've played the king here, I've done my action. I've paid my uh, influence based on state officials. I took one of those two actions. I built my, uh, <coughs> my uh, public building. Cool, there, I did it wherever it is. Yep. Let's say it's up there. there. Then, one thing I forgot, sorry, I take this, I flip it over because that's also that's going right. to be end game points at the end. Then, anybody that has the king's royal favor 
can then follow. And this goes in clockwise order around the table. So as it is, Matt currently has a king royal favor. So it's up to him whether or not he wishes to follow. Okay. I, I, he's nodding yes, which shows up great on not <laughs> okay, camera. Okay, I will follow. All right. So then he plays the royal favor out here. And then he pays influence just as if it were his turn. He then can do this, this, or this. The advantage of leading versus following, you may do this and you do that. If you're following, you may do this, this, or this. Mm -hmm. That's it. You get to do one of them. Then uh, he takes his action, just like what we'd already gone through. Then we go to Dan. Do you wish to follow? You cannot follow. All right, that's the end of my turn. I take my courtier off of here. Mm -hmm. We discard this card out of the game across the room. Then... I choose one of the face-up cards in the display. We then flip that card, the next card, and it's the next player's turn. Rinse and repeat until three of these decks are gone or two sets of rubble are built up. There is one more thing you can do with your card, is you can discard it for yes. a gold. You can sell it off. You can Okay, if you're desperate for goods, which <laughs> yeah. may happen, yep. it very well good, uh, could, and actually that's shown on your tableau right here, you may discard a card for a gold and a gold, not a not a, a single is not real. 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 Thank you. It is a gold, which means you can use this for any of the nobles out here to be able to take that action or to sell to a ship. Mm -hmm. Okay, I lied. There's one more thing. That, Sorry. Ta that takes up your action. It so you does. You can't do that immediately. Correct. You yeah. have to. Oh well, I planned poorly, yep. and so you're punished for that. The only thing I have not talked about is producing on buildings. So, right here, producing on buildings. I have one building facing what street? The gold street. If I say I'm going to go ahead and take that action, you know, based on if I play a card out here, I wouldn't have to pay the good. If I tucked it into my tableau, I would. I pay the good. Then this produces. Every building of mine will produce one good based on what street it's facing. So, in this case, I would get one gold. However... On your tableau, if I had started with this building, it says you produce one extra good of one type that you produce. The second level does nothing. The third level says, hey, you produce one of every or one additional good of every type that you already produce. The top row of the ships here says you no longer have to pay goods to build ships. You just get a ship. That, that's awesome. It is. And the second level here says you can now spend money to buy influence. <sighs> I think that's it. I think so. All right. Between the, between the first and second. Just the colors. All right, cool. All right, yeah. so yeah. there you go. Okay, cool. So and just to be clear, if I had played, when I built this building, if I had built it here, this would only score the blue and gold streets if buildings are built. The, the player aid also doesn't say anything about you being restricted for the north side. Um, may want to check the, that out in the full rule book. Sure. Oh, okay. That and will the block scoring. The, yeah, there and the for, peanut gallery can chime yeah. in on that. So, meaning, can I play this one on the pink street? Does that just mean that you just won't score on that? Or does it mean you can't play that? That's right. one of those edge case rules that right. I want to Generally, double check don't before want we get started. to do that, but Correct. if there was a situation, yeah, sure. we'll find out. And other than that, that's it. So Peanut Gallery, it's up to y'all as far as any questions. Otherwise, we will reset the board after I've destroyed it and get started. Only partially destroyed. <laughs> uh, can I have your roll? Like I said, play a card. Do yeah. an action, draw a card. It's real simple, right? <laughs> Matt, if you'll shuffle these guys up and take your royal favor back, sir that I maliciously stole from you. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have those. <coughs> these will come back out. These are, I was wondering what these were. This yeah, is really it's cool. all the very, it's a variant. I like that a lot. And I, I appreciate that. And I did not talk about it at the end of the turn. That's when the, uh, the decrees refill, the buildings refill at the end of a player's turn. Um, the goods will then clear at the end of a player's turn. And the... Public buildings refill immediately. That's the only oh, thing that do? refills okay. immediately. And you didn't, didn't talk about these guys either. Oh, oh good yeah. call. Yeah. <laughs> One other thing. 
as you clear sets of rubble, you remove these cubes. Well, what do you do with these cubes? You put them over here on the marquee. And why do you put them on the marquee? Because anytime you take a decree, you may discard one and only one. I don't care if I have three of them out here. I'm still only allowed to discard one at a time to take a second decree whenever you are able to do so. Cool. That's it now, I think. How is the starting influence determined? Is that it's a uh, turn order and six. it starts four, five, starts six. Four, five, six. Yep. Okay. And red. Oh, and our clergy tiles. We have to change ah, good those call. as well. Yep. All right. Thank you. Paul says, I think Kanban's easier to teach. Mm. Maybe. It's, it's, Maybe. They're, 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 both, they're both tougher. So. I've, I found Kanban easier to learn, but I think that's because I had played this first. That makes sense then. All right. Okay, the north side must match the color road. It does. Okay. There you go. All right. All right. So I got I did get that right. All right. So now all right, so talking about the player aid, did I not give you one? Here? I am a horrible, oh. horrible Oh, it's in your hand. Oh, I I think I took his. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. So while we get started here, let me show. All right, so I have two clergy tiles here. So let's find out what they are. And if you look, here, it's a little hard to see. Let me see <laughs> if I can do it like so. There we go. There is a tiny little number printed right there. So that is number 21 and number 37 is what I have. So what do I have? I have number 21, which is for each decree card you receive, you also get a wig. Pretty self-explanatory, actually, mm -hmm. the graphic design on it. This is, oh, 37. When oh, you yeah. produce goods, take addition, an additional good of a single time. I'll take that. That's a good one, one to start yeah. with. So that goes back into the bag. Yep. And that's just that one. No, I'll, when, what are you starting with over there? I am starting with it is number 10, and it says get a discount of one influence every Hold time on, you. Hold on, can't see that. Oh, Hold on. Oh. There you go. <laughs> oh, uh, you can barely see it anyway, but it's get a discount of one influence every time you visit um, or follow a visit from a noble. Wow. So All right. That's nice. pretty good. All right. So I am actually <laughs> going to go ahead and bring up the cameras now. All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Going to enjoy some coffee. It's going to be a late night. Hey, Dan, can you fix the uh, drapes? Oh, yeah. Do you want to mute me? <coughs> ah, don't bother. You can reach. Okay. You're fine. Oh, yeah. All right. We'll randomize turn order here. That'll work. I have long arms. All right. Where's the first? All right. So Matt is playing red. Dan is playing green. I am, of course yeller we all have our starting hands we have our player aids good all right make sure everything else is reset there there nope this comes off Almost. do you have all of your goods back yeah i yes. do okay um i think we're ready to rock and roll I oh so. one last thing i forgot to mention whenever we produce goods mm -hmm. for every good that you produce mm, for each type of good if you produce six gold because you have six oh, bad example but if you have multiple gold buildings that produce gold, gold will drop one. It does not matter. Mm -hmm. And that is the new price of gold. If you produce gold and books, doesn't matter how many of each, each one will drop one. Every time somebody produces, that will happen. <laughs> All right, now we're ready to start. Whew. Had a request in chat earlier for an antiquity playthrough. Um, we'll get to it, probably in July. July or August, all right? Did Remind you? me. And put it on the uh, put it on the request geek list. Did you say that we flip these over? Before oh yeah, we start? everything should be oh, okay. face up. If you could do that, I apologize. No problem. Cool. And we didn't have to play with them, but I figure yeah, eh, you know, it's the deluxe edition. While you're doing that, actually, I can talk about all the little perks of the Kickstarter edition. So there is a starting task deck, which uh, they're back in the box. I'm not going to bother with, but those kind of help. Um, newer players to balance and imbalance and experience. Oh, that's so cool. that's kind of cool. The decree board itself, normally that didn't oh, exist. Yeah. Uh, the city tokens as well as, or the city tokens, whether it's the shops or whether it's the public buildings, mm -hmm. those add variability, which I think is a genius yes, idea. Absolutely. There is a two player overlay, which I actually have here, oh. which goes on the second level there or on the bottom level mm. for for a two-player game. 
Yeah. Very nice. And then uh, the wooden meeples, uh, everything that you see here. Uh, and then the, the fancy bags for the clergy bag as well as the rubble bag. What, uh, what are the meeples in the non-Kickstarter? I don't do know. know. Okay. I, I don't. This is the only... Yeah, I, I do not. Sorry, All you'll right. have to ask e uh, Egg for that. All right, Paul, time to judge. Go ahead. All right, and Red, you're up. All right. I believe I will start off with... Uh, I will play the king card, but I will play it to my tableau. All right. <clears throat> so I here, will... actually, let me go ahead and tr see if we can back up. You want to bring your player oid over that? Uh, yeah, that, yeah, that'll work right there. Yeah, so enough. people can see this at least. <clears throat> I'm going to tuck it in here. The special ability at the bottom is to move the cardinal one space and take one of those. And I will take this guy right here. Which number is what? It is 14. At the end of the game, treat this as a complete blue plan for all scoring purposes. I did not cover in-game scoring because, honestly, there's a ton of it and folks just don't need to know yeah. it. When we get there, <laughs> I'll talk about it. We'll get there in a couple hours. Right. And that was real easy. All right. Well, I've, so I've, yeah. got, well, I've still got other stuff to do, too. Correct. Oh, so yeah. you did the, whatever the bottom is. You tuck mm -hmm. that. Now you may play. You, you cannot sell to ships. Because, well, there, there are, are no, no ships. ships. Right. So one or two of these six actions. And now that you're actually done that, we'll mm -hmm. actually bring it back in a little. So, folks, there we go. Yeah, we're blacking off a little bit of the score track, but you guys will be all right with that, I think. So is Ian here yet? I see <clears throat> Paul, who is the developer extraordinaire for VTOL's games as well as Stronghold right. games. So. Excellent job on this. Paul. I will play that right there to get a one of these. I'll Royal favor? A green one. Okay. Because he only has a king and now Demaya, the builder. Mm -hmm. All right. And we, do you wish to play I, a second? I do not. All right. So he played to his tableau, so we cannot follow. So that's the end of his turn. Yeah. Dan, you're up. All right. Uh, refill a clergy tile here. Good call. That happens at the end of a player's <coughs> turn. Yeah, did you draw a card? Oh, oh yeah, right, yeah. Draw a card. Um, How many cards? Ask yourself, do I have five cards? Right. No, draw a card. I mean, there are really only really <laughs> two steps to the game. I mean, you play, play one two. and you draw one. <laughs> uh, take this one. Oh, I guess I didn't cover... If you play a treasury card out here, you actually have to pay the treasury cost, mm. and then you get whatever the benefit is, and that's it. Yep. Figured we could hit on that when yep. we get there. Right. Okay. All right, Paul, so what do you think? How was that? Not as smooth as, as Kanban, but... Close. Yeah. Very close. So I will play a marquee card into my tableau. Okay. Which gets me a gold Good. token. All right. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. So you're now at two golds? Yes, so, so. I maxed out on my gold, but that's okay. Um, no ships to sell, so I will use my goods to take some actions. So the first one... I'll put some state officials out because I want to make it more expensive for everyone else to do things. Way to be a team player, Dan. Yep, no problem. And then and you may do a second. So I'm, I need to see what these clergy tiles are. Two, five, okay. I will then pay a paper towel to move the cardinal, two, two spaces. One, two. We'll talk about it once you get there. Okay. I will take this clergy mm -hmm. tile so that whenever I play a marquee card to the royal course, I get three chreas. And it is, the onus is on you, sir, to not forget that. Which, I will. Right, inevitably. Yes. All right, so now we didn't talk about these two spots. We'll talk about them as we hit there. Oh, we hit here. You increase the treasury. One level. Boom, yep. done. Now, he played to his tableau. We cannot follow, so we refill. These come off. Yep. And refill, for those that don't know, is kind of a, a heavy cardboard insider thing. The original Wildcatters had a misprint on the player aid that said at the end of a player's turn, you refill the display, <laughs> and it just stuck. So everything's refill. All right. All right. So moving on, my turn. I suppose I will look at what my cards are. Let's play together, shall we? All right. I appreciate that, Anthony. 
All right. Oh, we actually had a pretty good hand. Oh, we actually have one of each. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall... Okay, sorry. <clears throat> All right. Um, you know what? I like the idea of having... Eesh. Nope. Royal favors are nice. Yeah, so is decrees. So are plans. Uh. All right. So I'm actually going to play the king card to my tableau. So I play it at the top. And one thing I didn't mention is the nice thing about these player boards is you can actually, they're raised because on the back there's a little bit of, there's a bar of cardboard that's in the middle that they slide easily. And you notice they stop right there, right there. So it, it's level with the top. All right. So that, that allows me to get a, ro there we go. Get allows me to get a royal favor. I cannot get Demaya. I can get one of the others. Oops. And I say that as it stops. There we go. So who do we want? I'm looking around the board. I'm actually going to go ahead and take the, I'll take the marquee follow. So that comes over here, goes onto my tableau. Cool. Now I can sell the ships. There still are no ships. So I come out. I will then go ahead and remedy that. And I will spend books to go ahead and build the ship. So I take the top. And there are only two of each type in a three-player game, right. by the way. So I will take the ship card. It costs one good in which to build it. So looking over here, I will go ahead and pay the cloth or paper towels. So that gets discarded to the kitty. I then will play this to the top of my tableau. I'm allowed two cards in my tableau, so one and two. I raise the treasury one level. So I will reach over here. We will raise the treasury. It's pegged out. If something says to raise it again, you just ignore it. Then... I score influence. Oh, we did reset that. Good. We, I score yep. influence based on based on the number of influence that's in my tableau. So zero plus three is three influence. Uh, one, two, three. If ever you ping at 10 or go past, you score a wig. Well, I'm not there yet. I don't need to worry about it. Next, I may play a second uh, resource out here, a second good and I will, I will go ahead and play tools. That's what's required here. Play tools to place two state officials. And you know what? If it's good for the goose, uh, yeah, I think you guys are going to build more than the marquee right now. So I will spread the love just like my friend Dan did. And that's the end of my turn, except I now have to draw a card. So... So I'm looking at not only, and I should say that this deck is always the mar is the builder, yep. uh, Demaya. This is always the marquee. This is always the king. These are always treasury cards. It's just <coughs> what the benefit is at the bottom as well as the influence at the top. Um, I like state officials, and I do have uh, the... Yeah, that's produce. Mm. I will actually go ahead and take... Yeah, I'll take uh, Demaya into my hand, flip that over, we clear these, and that's it. Now, oh, I'm sorry, now Matt has the option, if he plays a card to his tableau, now he can sell to a ship, if right. he wishes, because now there is a ship in play. All right. <sighs> Yep, Julian has it right regarding uh, you can't do the same good twice, as I mentioned, because you have a good that's covered it to show that you can't do the same good twice. The same action? Same action. Okay. I mean, same gotcha. good, yeah. Words. Good thing I don't have a podcast. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, I didn't finish flipping all these over. <laughs> that. Or... Or the public building. I was just going to leave some as a surprise. Just, oh, hey, I'm going to have more Mr. variety. What's behind door number three? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what the fuck is that? Let's do that. I'm going to play the uh, this card. The treasury card. Treasury card. 
because the treasury is high right now, and when I play this oh, one that's smart. under my board, nice. I get five bucks. Or well, guess, you get whatever the, tra whatever the treasury whatever is. is. So then you're depleting the treasury by taking money out of it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, oh, and one other thing I should mention, the money that's in this game, and let me show folks, <clears> I put my <throat> coffee down, hold on. Let me show folks real quick, and then I will shut up and let you take your turn. The money is, uh, I think this was a, like a Kickstarter extra. We oh, actually got this that was in the prototype, so I'm not willing to give it back. So we're using it here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so that's why you hear it jingling around. The, I, I love these I, I will say this, though. The actual money in the game is unlike any I've seen. So these oh, are fives. Cool. Huh. So it's a stack of five coins. The tens are a stack of ten coins, but it's all one piece of cardboard, and the singles are obviously singles. And well, I if you're going to you're gonna really do cardboard heavy. money, do something. And they're super with thick, it. So, just yeah. like all the punch That's board awesome. is. So yeah, I thought that was kind of clever. I've never seen that. All right, all right. There we go. And since you were so nice to build a ship, well, I'm a team player. I will ship some books on your ship. Okay, so you will get five reyes for that. Wow. And. His goods come over onto my tableau that fills my cargo hold, so we're going to flip that over. As a reminder, I need to score that at the beginning of my next turn. Oh, thanks, Paul. You're right, I didn't see it. Sorry. I appreciate that. And Anthony, same to you. Thank you very much. And that is the end of my turn. Oh, right. Because he sold goods, he does not get to right. do that. It's sell goods or mm -hmm. do that. So draw a card, sir. And also, because you played a treasury card, you get a benefit of... Um, I, I pay one less for anything I pay for. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> that's really good. You, you owe nine. No, sir. I owe eight. Wrong. Okay. All right. And okay. we flip. Okay. I will go to the royal court <coughs> to visit Demaya. All right. I like that because I can follow. All right. I, I thought you might appreciate yeah. that. <laughs> As do I. So there's one state official that's not my color. Right here. But the treasury is high enough that the cost is minus one. So I pay a grand total of zero. Zero influence. So here, there, you paid your zero influence. Well done. Thank you. Next. Uh, I will take a plan as one of my two... Always good to have a plan. Always good. He gets to take one of these two actions for free. He chooses to take a plan. Which plan do you want? I'll take the green because I already have a blue. Okay. That's, Give that's me a few more options. sound logic. Okay. Then Seems he must like build a store. Yes. I have a plan. Yeah, I dig the money. I think that's a real clever design. I mean, it's. I wonder why it's never done before. I, I, or at least I've never seen it. Yeah. I don't know. It reminds me a little bit of the stacks in Millennium Blades. Kind of. Yeah, yeah, that, this, yeah, but it's wrap paper money, so right. not at all like that. I yeah. agree. Right. Yeah, similar, but completely <laughs> different. All right. Okay, so, yes, I so, took a blue building. And I should note that there are two different types of blue buildings. This street over here is a skinny street. Oh, yeah, it that's it actually functional, the one functionally acts no different whatsoever than the regular street. It's a graphic design choice, and if Ian O'Toole is here, which I don't know if he is, if he is, I'm hoping, or maybe Paul can men it can say why they did the smaller yeah. building versus the larger. So, okay, I'll shut up and let you take your turn. Now. Okay, so I will be building on this space here. And this bonus tile allows me to take a rubble from the extra stack. Which I did not mention, the seed six at the mm -hmm. beginning of the game in a three or four player game. And so these do not replenish. You have six to choose from. Yep. So I'm going to take a red. So Which is fire damage. Correct. Put that on my board. So, and then I will choose one cube on the street or row. I will take the earthquake damage. Which is the most expensive is, to pay for. I'm gonna try to get rid of that as soon as possible. So, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, plus four is 10. <gasps> you have 10 reyes. I have That's 10 reyes. so weird. Everybody starts with 10 reyes. It's like I planned it. I know. Okay, pay for that, and then I will take my production bonus building, my first production bonus building, and place it there. Oh, 
Oh, Ian's here. Oh. Cool. Ask, and he shows up. It's Is amazing. That you summoned him. Huh. I feel like I shouldn't waste my next <laughs> one on... Not that Ian's wasted, mind you. I'm just saying <laughs> that, like, I'm like, who should we call who for if that's that great? Right. You better think, think about that carefully. Seriously. <laughs> Um, would you like to follow? I'm looking at the different streets and looking at what cheap is, and yes, the answer is I would like to follow. So, I spend, and we'll go ahead and show folks, I have a builder uh, royal favor, so I will spend this. I put it back out here. I also have one that is not mine, minus one. I pay zero influence. I can choose to do either of those, but you know what? I like the idea of building a building, so I too shall build. And, man, I really hate being a sheep, but I really think I'm going to. Oh, I can't because you took the small building. And remember, yes, mm -hmm. these do not refill until the end of that the active player's yep. turn. <laughs> Zoot. All right. So what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Okay, I'm cool with that. Let me have the orange building, please, sir. All right, and again, keeping consistent. So Ian, now that he's here, does not get mad. The, <laughs> the, uh, the shadow in the bottom right. I will take two state officials based on that bonus. And oh, sorry, Matt. And then we will go there. So I placed it. Now I take one rubble cube. I will take... The earth or the earthquake damage rubble cube, I will place it here on my tableau. Then I must pay based on what's left. So here I'm going to owe two, four, looking across, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Reyes, I only have ten. However, I can spend influence. So eleven and twelve. So I pay all that I have. I now have built that. So then we look back on my tableau. Which building do I wish to put out? I already have the bonus of producing an extra good, but I like the idea of double dipping. So I will take that building out there. I will place it on the door side and I will score my zero points because that, that, and that has not been built. And I'm done. Matt, would you like to follow I would indeed. Oh, I didn't realize you had. Yep. Nice. Oh, there. <clears throat> now you don't get it quite so cheap. Not well, so much. <laughs> I I only pay one influence Why? because minus one and this guy. Oh, your your court uh, yeah, when uh, I, clergy tile. Sorry. Yeah. So when I follow, I pay one less influence anyway. So Three think, minus one is two. You made minus me pay. One. You made me pay one. There you go. Not That's bad. Fun. Oh, I got you. Yeah. <clears throat> Here we go. All right. So. My options have gotten less so. Um, <laughs> because it's expensive, right? No, because y'all have taken the buildings. Oh, right. fair point. So he, you only can choose expensive, the pink. Expensive is not the... terrible for me. Oh. That's right, um, Daddy Warbucks, because he sold the good, remember. Mm -hmm. So, let's see. I will take the... That, the big blue building. Okay. Well, maybe, maybe not. Hold on. Paul's like, on maybe you should wish me. for Vital. I would, but I know he's he's probably in the air right now, traveling to mm -hmm. Origins. So I'm going to see him tomorrow. Yeah. Probably not going to bother the man there right now. There may be negative consequences for right. that wish. There we go. Like the monkey's paw. Do you know that story? Uh-uh. I'll tell you about it later. Okay. <laughs> um, I'll take the pink. Pink. And now he has a choice of either of those two rows on which to place it. Which, it, it's going to be influenced by the rubble cubes out here. It's going to be influenced by the multiplier. It's going to be influenced by the special ability or the, the, the one-shot mm -hmm. uh, extra bonus that yep. he gets. So there's a lot to factor in. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Like is this making sense? Are, it's still early, I understand, but for those... Yeah, goods are good. So, I will take the books here. And go oh, there. No. Ian's gonna flip oh, out. Oh, no. Oh. Get it? Flip oh, out. Oh, my ha, gosh. Ha, ha. So good. 
Uh, I will do my that's my ship's track here. All right, you must choose a rubble here I or will, there. <clears throat> I will take the nude one. Take the blue one. Because it's the most painful to pay for. All right, so hopefully... That's three, four, and I'm only doing this because Matt's on the other yeah. side of the equator over here. So that's going to be four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus four, four. is 13. 13. Minus one. Correct, because you have the oh, bonus for I that. need one of those. Yep. So 12. There you go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And I get my book. Which you should have gotten at the very beginning right. in case you needed mm -hmm. it for whatever right. reason. And now he scores zero points because I know the public buildings <coughs> are... And finally we have reached the end of Dan's <laughs> of turn. turn. Right. And so, that's why those like are important. Ago. Exactly. Okay. So, so I need to this comes a... off. Goes there. We take the card. We tear it up. And it goes out of play. Iron Lisboa Man's Legacy. Variant. Right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ooh, that, there, there's potential. Right. I think, I think it could be done. Um, I just wonder if anybody flinched when I said... When, I really that's, hope so. I really do as well. Uh, right. Can I take the Demaya card, you, please? You absolutely may, sir. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, after this, we're going to take it, we're going to burn it, we're going to soak it in water, and then throw rocks on it. For the oh, three types of damage. Yes, yeah. all right, yeah. You look. yeah. Seriously, how bad of a three days was oh, that? My, oh. It was really, really Literally bad. Literally... The worst parts it, of the Bible, right? It doesn't get much worse than yeah, outside of like because even if like a meteor hit and you die like that, an earthquake you die or a uh, volcano you yeah. die like that when a pyroclastic flow hits. Yeah, this you have to suffer through. All, oh. They would have been totally justified in completely abandoning the city. And it was one of the five options yeah, that, that they had. That would have been very understandable. I'm sure that both Vital or not both, but Vital, Nuno, Polo, etc., as well as the folks. Watching, uh, I'm very glad they didn't. Yes. Life may have played out differently. That's History very true. Have. All right. So we refill uh, the buildings, which you've already done. Yep. I'm going to shut up and take on my it. turn. All right. Yeah, come on. All right. <laughs> cool. All right. So what do we got here? So everybody on the backs will be able to see, oh, I've taken one turn because I have one red card. Right. Weird. Look at that. Um, I'm Poe. Oh. First things first, I should have clear. I need to clear this, so I did remember at least. So score one point for yellow, and I'm running away with the game. You Six are the wiggiest. I am. Wiggy wiggy. Okay, <laughs> that will never happen again. I don't believe you. I I don't either. Um. So we need money. So yeah, we do. Uh, I can't. Ooh. Uh huh. We can produce goods, which is what I'm going to do. Okay. So looking at my hand here, I'm looking. I like the idea. So looking at the bottoms of the cards, if I want, I could get money by placing a treasury card, which I'm not going to overthink, and I'm exactly going to do that. So I'm going to play this, tuck this card into my tableau there. Then, uh, because I did this so, I get money where the treasury is, and then we decrease the treasury by one. So looking at the treasury. And which card are you going to? Do? Oh, I'll get there. Okay. Um, so first things first, I get four income. No, I appreciate the reminder. That was in, just so you know. Five, please. There, we decrease the <coughs> treasury by one. So now I have done what the card has told me. However, I am only limited to two cards. Well, this card literally is doing me no good because it's zero influence and yes. the card doesn't matter outside of that. If it had more influence, maybe it becomes a decision. I could discard the ship mm -hmm. if I wish, but the king, you're dead to me. So that comes out of play, discards. Now I'm back down to two cards. And this little special ability is just like Matt's. Anytime I pay money, I pay one less. Your job at home to help me remember please. All right. So now I can do, I can either sell goods out here to my ship, but I only have one good. I really don't like the idea of doing that. I do have, anytime I produce goods, I get one extra good of a type and same with this. So I think we're going to go ahead and use my gold to produce out here. I can do one or two goods or one of two actions out here. So I'm going to produce. 
Well, all of my buildings out here produce. I only have one building, which is a gold building. So I normally would produce one gold. Mm -hmm. Again, I have that, which gives me one more. And then I have that, which gives me one more. So I would produce three. However, again, my warehouse limit is two. So wah, wah, wah. I spent one yeah. gold to get two gold, basically. I transmuted. Yeah. All right. So Alchemy. there we go. I get two. Right. So I put those onto my board. Now I can take a second action. Now, I produced goods. I produced gold. Gold now drops. It will never be back up at six. It's now at five. All right. Um, I like the idea of being able to build a public building potentially here in a little bit. So that needs state officials. I have a ton of state officials yeah, out here wow. already. Um... Mm, I'll go ahead and get a plan, or I could not take a second action. You don't get any interest on that gold. That is true. You know what? Actually, I will spend a gold to move the cardinal Ooh. one or two spots, and I'm actually going to have to reference these. I apologize. I, I just looked them up. Actually. Okay, go for it. So this one is whenever you play a card into your portfolio, you get one wig. Oh, nice. And I, I remember this one is that whenever you take a rubble cube, you can discard it for two weeks. Yeah. And the other one is anytime you sell a gold, it's worth two it's, more. You sell it for two more. I will move him one. I can move him one or two. Mm -hmm. And I will go ahead and take that one to my tableau. There. So there. I'm back where I started. But I feel like I had a pretty eventful turn, so that's the end of my turn. We clear these. I must draw a card. I like the idea of more resources. There, and the turn of the yellow player is complete. Sir, Matt, it is your turn. Fine. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to play a card to my tableau as well. That's going to be this red guy here. All right, the marquee. Um, he's going to, I'm just going to replace this guy. with The, the king, okay. All right, so he and what, goes what's away. the benefit you he, got? Oh, the benefit is two uh, state officials. All right. <clears throat> so I feel like that's pretty good. Sorry, Lori. Lori. She says I can't get Buck Rogers out of my head now. Oh, I'm sorry. Stick one there, just so you guys can't make it one more expensive for me there. For the and moment, anyway. I feel like that one's probably best. <clears throat> Because you can get kicked out. Once you can, yep. but I figure when it happens, we'll yep. cover that. Yeah. Yep. All right. So now I think I will go ahead and spend my books on a boat. And because of my special ability that I just uncovered with that building, that you boat, pay one less good. I pay one less, which is nothing. It's free. Now I got to put my boat in here, which unfortunately means I'm going to lose. Or you could boat. lose the the marquee if you yep. wish. I, decide, I will decide not to because he has influence on me. Okay, influence, all right. Yeah. yeah, so. What happens when you tuck the ship? When I tuck the ship, um, that goes up. And I get the influence here, which is four. And you are red, goes up to seven influence. Bueno. So that is one action. Would you care to take a second action, sir? Hmm. Have to be that or that. Hello, Dapper Fox. Looking dapper? Go with it. Foxy? <laughs> now I got Foxy Lady stuck in my head. Man, Ooh, it's oh, going to be that kind of night. All I, right. believe, I believe you Dapper can... Fox was my only cheerleader in the Kanban. The only person who <laughs> backed me to win Kanban. Was. Yeah, how'd that work out for him? Better, really better, well. Better, better, <laughs> it was a successful better than whoever backed me. That it was a fair. successful I will backing. go ahead and take a plan. I will take a blue plan. All right. <clears throat> cool, man. And done. Draw a card, sir. And notice we are up to the level two ships now. And does zooming out help you guys to be able to see the other uh, fellas' tableau? Obviously, I have a camera on mine. Um, is it necessary? Don't bother. You guys tell me. I'll let y'all dictate that. All right, Dan. Going to see the king. Uh, apparently, I am. 
You or, mean you can. Or, or, or you are. Okay, you are now. Colorblind. <laughs> yeah. Relations with the Holy See are suspended. I would just like to notice this is that every card has an event that actually happened yep. in the rebuilding of Lisboa. That's, Which is awesome. That's incredible. So, there's one non-green state official in his office. Treasury says minus one, so I pay zero influence. Okay. All yep. right. Keep going. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I will choose to move the cardinal. All right. So Choosing I'm going to move to him this. one space. Okay. And I will take the tile that gives me a wig every time I play a card to my portfolio. So you chose one of those yep. now? Now I will build a public building. All right. I will be building a... All right. So it, they're saying yes to the idea of zooming out. So there we go. Cool. Okay. So Dan is in the top right of your camera, and you know what? While this is going on here, why don't I just do this and make it easy, since it's Dan's action. Go ahead. Right on. You move so, them both down there, they can see everybody. I will be using my blue plan to build a blue public building. So this costs three state officials. So all of my state officials come back. First things first, choose the this and get yep. your bonus. Okay, that first. comes first. Okay. Yep. Good. Again, just I, I realize it's the same thing, but for the folks watching it home Absolutely. and around the world. Um, so we will be building this one over here. All right. So my bonus is placing two additional state officials. Which happens immediately. Immediately. Okay. Immediately. So I will place one in the Marquis' office. All right. So everybody that is tied... Because for, for the most gets booted, so me and or yellow and red are both tied. Goodbye. So they both come out here. So we can still use them to build uh, public buildings, but now that's less influence that we actually have as far as actually paying the cost to actually yep. do that. And then I will also. And you only yeah. do that once it's full. Right. Okay. Then I'll go over there. All right. So okay. that's your bonus ability. And I took two. Earthquake damage, rubble cubes into my tableau. All right. And then... Now you owe state officials. Now I owe state officials and then score? Yes. Okay. So I owe three state officials. You can choose any, in any mix. He could take two okay. here, he, however you want yep. to do it. Okay. I will take one from the king's office and one from the marquis's office. Three, sir. And... <laughs> Another one from the Marquis. So now technically is when you would flip the plan over. Okay, yes. And then, there you go. Whoop. All right, cool. Good. And you, you proved to everybody I'm using a blue plan. Yep. Good here. And now everything scores in that row that is blue and brown. Meaning, this is on Pink Street. You score zero. Green, however, does score because he's on Blue Street. Blue Street is worth four wigs. Four wigs for green. Okay. All done? All done. Anyone can follow. Okay, I so I cannot follow. <laughs> As y'all see over here in the bottom left, I do not have a king uh, royal favor. However, now we'll move. And I'm not going to keep doing this, but just to show everybody <laughs> one time, and then we'll go. Go ahead, Put Matt. Down there, then. But when I zoom back out. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I will follow that action. All right. So, step one, pay your influence. So, oh, does, does that come back? Oh, th I think this that does. Does. I believe it does. does. Yeah. I was, kind, it does. Of, I was yes. kind of betting on that. That okay. is the only yeah. thing, because mm -hmm. those are limited, as opposed to the buildings, that you have right. multiple you have choices. choices. Yep. So, you pay influence, which is two, minus, minus one, one, which is minus one. Minus another. So, so you pay none. zero influence. Oh. You may choose any of those three. I will choose the public building. All right, choose Ooh. which one do you wish. I will choose this other blue here okay and it will obviously have, well it's either going to go there or there to score the building do i want yeah sure i will take those rubble and a royal favor that he does not have which <laughs> is none of them all right and hmm i think i'll take this one this should have 
flipped when yeah. you, sorry. All right, so you've done that. You have placed the building. Now you owe for state officials. You place the blue, blue plan. Building. So the plan goes How here. Many? I owe two. All right. I'll take this guy that's not doing anything. Of course. <clears throat> and uh, this guy. All right. So those come home. You've paid your state officials. And now you score. It's on Pink Street. It must be placed on Pink or Brown Street. Everything on Pink scores. So red will score five points or five wigs and running away with it. Nice. All right. And now your turn is over, sir. Okay. So... He comes home, that goes away, and, and I will choose, and I will manipulate up here while you do that. I will take the treasury card. That's why I didn't move it back down to the corner. All right, cool. Um, so just uh, to let folks know, there are two cards left here on the builder, and there are two left on the treasury, and there are more than that on both uh the marquee as well as the king. So getting back to my hand now. All right, so let's see here. We we only have one good looking at this. We have lots of builders. We have only five rests. So let's go ahead. Mm. I would like the goods. So I'm actually going to play a treasury card. Yeah, that's going to cost me four, though. Eesh. Stupid game. Who designed this stuff? And by stupid, that's a compliment. Um, you know what? Instead, uh, I have a ton of state officials. Let's go ahead and do that. So I do not have a king card, though. I need one more. Oh, thanks. Man. I have planned poorly. All right. I'm actually going to... I will play the marquee out onto... I will go visit the marquee. So I will come out here. I will pay. I have zero minus one. I don't get extra influence for that. So it's just zero mm -hmm. out there. Uh, I will go ahead and... I'll go ahead and produce. Yeah, let's go ahead and crater the value of gold. <laughs> Why not? So I will produce here, which means gold will drop. I produce three gold because of my special abilities. Oh. However, I already have one gold. I only produce one more. And then I'm going to take a decree card. So looking at the top, I'm going to choose one of those here in a little bit. But in the meantime, Matt, would you like to follow? I cannot. Dan, would you like to follow? I would like to follow. Okay, go ahead, and I will study the decrees. And the reason I say study the, the decrees is because there are 37 clergy tiles, but there are 70 decree cards. So the iconography is really good once you get the hang of it. Yes. Um, and... You know what? I'm not going to study too long. Let me just have this one. Whoever has the most gold at the end, seen as I already produce three gold, mm -hmm. that's a pretty good idea. Yeah. So this clergy, or I'm sorry, the the uh, uh, decree card actually comes over here into my tableau. And then Dan says he's going to follow. So you're going to pay one influence, two minus one. You owe one, one influence. Do the, the people outside... They do not. You're right. Them. So it's one minus one. This guy helps me for building a public building, but, that but doesn't it. count on influence. Yep. Good call. So that's zero. Pay zero influence. You can do one of those three. I will produce. Okay. So he's choosing this action instead of the big action. Mm -hmm. So I have one building on the blue street, but I have the first production bonus. So I need two tools, please. All right. And then the value of tools goes down. Because you produced. Yes. Voila. All right. So, that's the end of my turn. The marquee, we bid do. Really? <laughs> Maybe. That's it, nine. I'm gonna try. And I'm going to take the king card, because I was lamenting not being able to do so. Good. Matt, you're up. Alright. <clears throat> I'm gonna play this card, but I'm going to tuck it. 
and it's going to... They can't, there you go. Yep. And it's going to replace this one. <clears throat> that gets me some cloth and or paper towels for its bonus. Cloth towels. Alright. <clears throat> paper then cloths. Then I'm going to choose to take an action out there. Okay. I'm going to use the cloth said paper towels for that. Clergy tiles. And which means we're going to have church scoring for the first time. Yes. <clears throat> Do you remember what this one did? That when whenever you take a rubble, you can discard a rubble to get two wigs. Hmm. We one, did an unboxing as a green of line. this. It's going to go one, two. I would definitely okay. recommend taking a look at that because I actually break and down how this is an inset board and everything. They did a really, really good job on that. Get a discount of two influence uh, to visitor uh, follower visit that. Well, oh, that's cool. with this one and that one. Yeah. That would give me a three influence discount on that one. That's so, not terrible. Why not? And since church scoring is coming up, not, not terrible to take the one with the most... But that's food. specifically for Demaya, right? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. So there I get three, everywhere else is one. Okay. Actually, that one's four because I guess they stack. They do. <clears throat> Deffer Fox says he's going to back Dan again because, you yes. know, consistency has to pay off. <laughs> I like it. That's, right. that's my operating assumption as well. So, I could take another one to get a decree, but I will hold on to my gold for now. And no, wait, hold on. I could produce. You could. That would give you one pink good, but it yeah. would cost the gold cost to do gold so. Cost the gold to do so. But pink is worth more than gold now. That's it true. is if you're looking to sell it. However, gold is more versatile because you can use true. gold for all three. And so the value of that will go down if you produce it. That it'll, is a fair point. It'll, so it'll, it'll be a wash. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, will, I will hold on to it, I believe. That now. is an excellent choice. Yes, good plan. So we will clear that. Matt, draw your card. So Dan, end of the up. turn, we do oh, church scoring. Good call. Thank you. I forgot. All right. So we stand the... the uh, the, cardinal. Thank you. The Cardinal up to signify once he has hit this spot or passed it, starting with the active player. So, now I will zoom out. And I will move these down here to the corner temporarily so you guys can see everybody's board. And it's just the board is so big that I had to... There was a cost here somewhere, so I apologize about that. Yeah. So now we get into church scoring and pull your board just back a hair. There you go. So Matt has three clergy tiles. He can, if he wishes, to discard any amount of those to score the number of wigs that is on the back. Also, at the top of each of the clergy tiles, there are little humps, which signify how many wigs there are. Three humps, three wigs. So if he were to discard all three of those, that would be worth seven wigs. And in addition to that, if he decides to discard at least one of them, he will then score influence down here on the influence track in addition to that. So Matt, would you care <clears throat> to discard any of those? I would, and I think I will discard them all for seven. Okay, Ooh. wow. So all three of that those go back into the lot. bag. Mm -hmm. So that's seven wigs for Matt. And then he scores his influence, which is five. Well, he only has room for three, and he gets a wig. All right. Nice. Well done. Dan, would I you will care? How many do you have, and how many points are they worth? I have three tiles for a total of eight wigs, but I'm only getting rid of two of those tiles for six wigs. So I'll take my six points, and then I will take one influence, please. All right. One influence for green. I really, really like the two that I have down here, but I love the idea of being able to get influence as well as victory points because I'm falling pretty far behind here. <sighs> and right now my warehouse can only store two and I already produce one. So as much as it pains me to do, I'm going to discard this for two victory points for yellow. And then I will score my influence, which is three, which gets me up to eight. And that is church scoring. Yep. Whoop. Done. That's refilled. Matt, did you draw your card I yet? I did. Okay. And now, back to it. And I'm going to move the camera, or the, uh, the camera boxes again. Sorry about that, guys. All right. 
So that's back to yeah, me yeah, now, well, right? Ian says he likes that part. Players feel pressure to sacrifice using useful mm -hmm. abil no, abilities just... to keep up on scoring. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> that's a good sign. Yeah, it's that was, totally that was a compliment. That's, that's, yeah, okay. that's brutal. I'm playing a treasury card into my tableau. Okay. So I get four... Reyes. Reyes. We drop the treasury. Treasury value. And what's the special ability? Special ability is that tools are worth two more Reyes. Okay, when whenever sell you sell them. Right. All right, cool. Uh, so the first thing I will do... Julian saying too early to discard. We'll see. I will spend a gold... He's probably right, though. ...to build a ship. All right, so now you owe two goods two. of a different type. So I will... Tools and books. All right. If he had a ship, he could then choose to upgrade right. instead. Thank you. All right. Um, so I haven't completed a rubble stack, so I can only have two cards in my portfolio. I will get rid of this noble. All right. Because I don't like him very much. He's eyeing you wrong. <laughs> yeah. So this goes into the tableau. Increase the treasury value. Yep. And I score influence across which the is top. Two. Right? Woo. Okay. Okay. So that was one. Yep. Here, and you may do one of the other five. Right. I don't have to. Do <laughs> Both of them are saying it was too early to discard. No way. I didn't want to. I was just, I'm falling behind in points. I blame them. I'm a sheep, okay? Nah. But they're saying trust the developers. Probably a good idea. We'll see. Right. Um, um, Cab Cabralicus? Go with that. Um, normally, he would be standing up and then he lays down. Or either way, as long as it's consistent and we're doing this so folks can see at home. Mm -hmm. So we stand him up when he hits either of these two spots as a reminder right. for us. For my second, for <clears throat> my second trick, I'm going to place two state officials. One there, and I get the feeling people are going to want to build again soon. One All there. right, and draw your card, sir. Okay, I will take... Are you sure? Did you hand me the mm -hmm. Demaya card, please? I, I can, but are you sure? I'm absolutely okay. sure. All right. 100%. That is the penultimate Demaya. That's the last Demaya. Three of these are gone, or two stacks of rubble by one player. That triggers the midway point of the game. Also, I missed one wig for playing a card to my tableau for my clergy tile. There you go. Good call. All right, so my turn. I was lamenting not having a king card. I drew a king card. I shall use said king card. So we will play the king card out here. Place my uh, courtes uh, courtier. Yes. Thank you. Uh, I have one that isn't me. Minus one. I pay zero influence. We're a friendly group, apparently. Yeah. I will take a, a noble. Royal favor. A royal favor. Thank you. Um, and I actually want to be able to follow to do this again. Again, I have a lot of state officials out here. So I will place that on my tableau. I now have a marquee royal favor and I have a king royal favor. And then I will do the main action, which is a public building. I only have a green plan, but that's okay. So, I, or I will choose to take the green plan. I really, really like the idea of building at the top. However, I'm okay with building down here because that's not going to help anyone either way outside of uh, wait, that wouldn't help me either, but the money is nice. Cash, yeah. yeah, the money is tempting. And you can score it later. That is true, but it also gives you all the ability to score that later. So I'm going to be short-sighted, and I'm going to build it here. I will go ahead and take that, which is a cloth, which I need goods as much as I need money. I then take the two the debris, the two debris cubes, <laughs> the... Tsunami damage, put those on my tableau. Then I must pay a number of officials equal to what the plan is. The plan says three officials. I show everybody three officials. It's green. I flip that over. Then 
we pay the three officials. Well, I'll take this guy who's not doing anything as one. Um, I would be bumped out as well as Dan if anybody puts one here, so I might as well go there. And there's not much going on here, so I will take the marquee. There's my three officials. Those go back onto my board. I'll do that in a minute. And then I score everything in this row that is on the gold street and on the blue street. And obviously it's only the gold street, as you all can see. So four wigs for yellow, please. Can you grab those goods up? I can, yeah. We should have cleared those. Yeah. Good call. And I'm done. However, would anybody like to follow? Oh, I'm sorry. Neither of you can follow because they don't have oh, yeah. the like king's the royal one. decree. So that comes off. Thank you, King. <clears throat> you did me well. Oh, wait. We're going to draw a King card. Now, there's one thing that I did not mention earlier. Because, again, TMI and, and Overload. When we hit the end of, the, of the, uh, the era, one of the things that's going to happen is we're going to be able to discard any amount of heck cards from our hand. However, in addition to that, what, if... For every type of noble that you discard, you get to do one of the benefits for that noble. So to a maximum of three. If you discard all three, you get all three benefits, whatever the bottoms are. If they are penalties, you ignore those. Um, but if there's a benefit, you get the benefit. So that's one of the nice things to have a diverse hand Definitely. come the end of the era. All right, cool. All right, so I am done. Matt, it is your honor, sir. Alright. Seeing as I have wow. none, of, none of those left, since I discarded them all, <laughs> um, I will swap this guy out for this guy. Here. Alright. And his little bonus there is... Which is... Man, that moving. Cardinal is moving. He is. This is the, this is the most I've seen him move in our plays. Speaking of which, Julian says he has 50 plus plays at 2 or oh, higher count two. in 100... Solo plays. So listen wow. to that guy. He knows what he's talking about. Right. I will never play a game that much because I will burn out. <laughs> I know that about myself. That's uh, that's impressive. But I guess that's if you're a developer slash designer, these are, are both things the that same you need to do. That's your thing. Right. But yeah. I think I like this one better. Remember that I I neglected the clergy tiles in my first couple games yep. and really suffered <laughs> for that. This, and making sure you're not now. This yes. one is when you follow, you don't have to pay any influence. Stop that. Seriously, <laughs> right? That's enough. Right. Yeah. You are no not more. allowed to do that anymore, <laughs> sir. And it's not like I discounts. can't spend it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> All right. So I did that there. So I can play. I've only got one good left, which... You can sell it to a ship now. The interesting thing to note, all three of us have ships now. Matt and I both have one cargo hold. However, Dan has a two-cargo hold ship. The best ship, you might say. However, which if he sells that to, it's worth one extra gold because the level two ships get him an extra one gold. One extra Reyes. Oh, sorry, one extra Reyes. Thank you. However, the benefit to selling to Dan is it does not complete his cargo hold, meaning Dan will not score that until someone also sells a second one. However, because Matt's cargo hold is empty and he has a ship, it would probably behoove him to do both on him, but you do get an extra Real. And you can ship to multiple ships when you take that action. Is that you correct? can. Different and, players. And you can sell as many goods yep. as you can't have goods. Absolutely. Yep. All right. Let me see. I think, yes, I will go ahead and do that on my ship. Okay, so you're selling the gold, so he gets four Reyes for that. Your cargo hold is one, so that fills the cargo hold, so it flips. And I will take this guy. All right. All right. One down. Two <coughs> more to go, or again, debris, uh... Rebel stacks. Thank you. Two rows or two columns of yeah. rebel stacks. Two yep. sets. I gotcha. I'm going to visit the Builder. I don't like that. I do. I'm not, Meaning I can't follow. I'm yeah. not sorry. So there are two <laughs> non-green state officials there. I get a minus one bonus from the treasury, so I will pay one influence, please. 
So I get to place state officials or take a plan. I'm going to put more state officials out. All right. We're just going to bum rush the royal court here. <laughs> <laughs> That's my new, my new strategy. Okay. Trademark. Right. <laughs> and then build a building. All right. You know, I do not have a whole lot of cash here. You're but... Right. One, two, three, four, five... So you have a total of nine Reyes at your disposal yep. after you've cleaned rubble. So five worth in rubble. So it's nine minus four, five total in rubble. Yes. Just trying to make the gotcha. match easy now for I, you now so I we're not double back, yep. or doubling back. Double backing. Yes. Backing up. Whatever. That's, yeah. Ooh, man. One of those. So I believe I'm going to double check on this count. So if I go there... I would take a, so this is one, two, three, four, five. No, one, two, three, four, five at the moment. So no matter what I take, I can't afford to go there. Yes, okay. correct. So I'm going to build there. He's probably going to take a water yep. damage. Yep. Sooner. Here, let me, uh, okay. there we go. There so we go. Fo and I'll move you because this is the first time we're seeing this. Yep. Go ahead. So my bonus was any... Rubble cube from this stack down here. So I will take a water damage. Hey. That completes my first stack. So I take this cube and put it over there. Yay! All right, continue, that sir. That was awesome. So next, I will take a red cube. Fire damage. Fire damage from there. And then I pay. Yep. Is that right? You are right correct. Order? Okay. One, two, three, plus four is seven. I have one, two, three, four, Reyes Five, here. six, seven. Boom. And then I will take... I'm going to keep working on my production buildings here. So I'll take my second production building there. And because this is in the same row as a public building, I get to score it. And because that public building is that color it Matches also. the color of that street, yes. So that's another four wigs for me. Done. All right. I cannot follow. Matt? I shall follow. There. Stick it there. Um, I choose not to pay any influence for that because I followed. <laughs> That's so <clears throat> dirty. Yeah. Yeah, he's like, yeah. Disapprove. Yeah. Right. Disapprove. Yeah. All right. So are you building or either of those I am. Or? I am building. Okay. And we will build on the Brown Street. Somewhere, somehow. And somebody said, uh, Cabralicus says a wig for the flip we cargo. We back to my turn. Yet. We do it at the beginning of that when we right. clear that. That's I'm right. not yeah. sure if that's what the rules say, but it's I'm, our reminder. I'm pretty sure it. that is. I think so, yeah. when you clear that, which is yeah. at the beginning of his turn. Three, which currently it now. is Dan's turn. If you want, just give it to Dan so your head's not blocking the oh, yeah. Um, Yeah. Throw it on the on the gold there, right there. Okay, right here. Yeah. Okay. And he took it from the brown stack, so it or from the brown street, so it must face the brown street. Okay. Grab a gold. All right. I ain't saying he a gold digger, but. All right, and I will take. Hmm. That might be really expensive, and I mean, that that well building gets really. You have yeah, one, two. <laughs> so how much is that right now? Uh, so that'd be three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, eighteen, 18. Reyes. So so you could get it down to fifteen. Yes, you can get it down to fifteen if you wish. Oh, you got rid of your minus one from everything. Yep, yeah. and I don't have fifteen. But you can spend influence, right? So. You would be one, two, you would be down from ten to three influence. It's just influence. Yeah, gotta use it for something. Well, I'm going to take one away from it. And I'm going to take no, one, something No, that would be down it. to 15 is okay. what we're saying. If I take the nude cube. Right. Hmm. We missed that. It happens. Ah, well, let me back that up just slightly then. Okay, so give back the gold. Yeah. 
I will take books instead and go on this side. Yeah, that's going to be cheaper. Yep. Oh, upside down. Flip it. Oh. Sorry, Ian. Quick. We're so fixing it before he go. sees it. Okay. That's four and... Nine, 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 thirteen. Right now, that's, minus whatever you take. Mm -hmm. That's better. Okay. That's that's much better. So I will take the blue, right there. Which gives you a full set, which and, clears that. And that's twelve, which is what I have. So All right. And place your building out there. And, and it scores. And it does. Look at that. Didn't even think of that. I will do the production. All right. So he's going to score for that public building. Three point three wigs for red. And that's for following. Dan's turn is finished. <sighs> there. Are you tired? I mean, that was an extensive turn, that, that, right? That was a... Draw your card, sir. Um, I'll take a treasury card. So there's only one left in the treasury stack. There's only one left in the builder stack. <coughs> Oh, re <sighs> All refill right. Refill the buildings. All right, my turn. Not letting you come over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, Ian. Uh, see, and I, I made a big point about it before you came on, before you joined us here. All right, so we are getting dangerously Didn't close. Stick. So Matt could end the turn if he wishes. So now what I'm looking at is I do not have any marquee cards in my hand for any bonuses that I wish to take. But if you take a marquee card, he can't end it. That is true. That's what I'm saying. Right. And I can kind of draw it out if I want. By one. By one, one maybe, right. Yeah. Um, however, I'm still broke. I really, really hate being broke. You get used to it after a while. Right. <laughs> It stops hurting. Yeah. Uh, I cannot... Man, I am... All right. So because I have goods out here, I'm going to actually play a noble into my tableau. So what one do we want to play? Oh, hey, look at that. I don't have any plans. I would like a plan. Yeah, I'm good with that. So I will play this into my tableau. I will get a plan. Uh, I will, looking at what's out there, eh, I will go ahead and take the blue plan. So that will come over here. That goes underneath. Then I can either sell goods for money or come out here to the main board. You can get a bunch of money over here. All right, you sold me. Yes. So I'm going to sell one pink good, meaning uh, cloth, and one gold. Yeah, I actually, yeah. I'm just going to sell these two. So, and it's worth an extra reyes if I sell to you. It's worth an extra each. Right. However, I will go ahead and sell one to me. So the cloth will get me five reyes, then the gold I will sell to Dan's ship, not filling his cargo, so it does not flip over, yep. uh, but it's plus one, so that also will get me five reyes for a grand total of ten reyes. Very good. Yep, that helps, and it leaves me with a good, I'm happy with that, I tucked a card, however, because I tucked a card, I have three in here, so I had to have discarded one of these, I could not, my ship... You know what? I'll go ahead and have discarded my ship instead. So I will give this to you, which means I get one extra Reyes, which means you do flip over because I filled your cargo hold. But I did that so I did not have to lose my one Real discount that I didn't want to get rid of. Good choice. Cool. So the ship card is out of play. And... Sunk. Uh, so, again, looking at my hand, that's not going to help me. And I can get one of these two. So it really doesn't matter which I choose. So I'm going to actually choose 
Demaya there, which means two of the stacks are now empty, and it is Matt's turn. So if he draws the treasury card, that will trigger the midway point of the game. Yep. All right. Um, I do get this now. Yes. yes. All right, so that clears off his board, which is he's emptying the cargo on his ship, one wig. All right. And I, I really want to say I like my favorite thing color-wise in this game is the reds. So let me move this camera. Well, actually, you can see that on Matt's tableau in the top left corner. So what you're I telling really... me is you like the reds. <laughs> As a big Cincinnati Reds fan, yes. But the, the red is really deep, vibrant, mm -hmm. kind of a deep, vibrant red. Um, no, I really like it. It really stands out against the muted colors That's on the board. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, I think it really pops. I, I really I dig like it. the purple. Okay. Hmm. Right. Interesting. Yep, I believe I shall do this. I'm going to play this card right here now. Um, I'm going to tuck it, um, which will give me three, which I can have now because I have the open space. Correct. Um, he gives me two state officials. And I'm getting, I'm getting heckled, kind of, or people are asking me why I'm... I'm not saying I'm... Uh, during live streams, I'm a bad bet because I'm running the stream, plus I may not always be making the right decision, so bear with me. I apologize for those that bet on me. Yeah, and sometimes <laughs> all of us are doing things just to, hey, what, what would happen if yeah, we did right, this? Yeah, right. Yeah, so it's not purposes. All, yeah, we're not always maximizing At least that's here. our excuse. Yeah, that's what I say. I'm going to sell it that yeah. way. Yes. Hey, we're pulling. It with confidence. No one will question we're, it. That's what I learned in graduate <clears> school. We're pulling, we're pulling levers here to see what comes out the other end. They may not always be the correct levers. Yes. Um, so I did that. I put those out. I'm going to use my books here to get that ship. Nice. Um, oh. Or can I? No. You, no, you I can. can. I can. Oh, you cannot. Oh, no, he can. How? Because he can he can upgrade, and that only costs one. Oh, he the upgrade. None, that, that, yeah. But he has no goods. But he has the, the minus one. Oh, that's, that's clever. That's okay, exactly, here, that's hold exactly on, hold saying. on, hold on. Let me zoom out so <laughs> folks can, because this is, this is pretty clever. There's several I dig steps this. of logic. Mm -hmm. Yep, all right. So we'll just drop this down. This is the first time I've ever had to do this. Sorry about that, <laughs> y'all. All right, so Matt wants this ship. You want to walk him through? Go for it. Yep, so I'm going to take this ship. Um, I need... To pay one good for it. Normally two. Normally two, because um, I'm going to upgrade this ship here, but my special ability here says I pay one less. So that's so, only one. So what only happens one. when you get a ship? Um, that moves up, and we do influence. Unfortunately, I don't get any more influence. So, but you, you get, get a point. I get a point. A wig. He would have gotten three influence. Well done. That was that was quite clever. Yeah, that worked. I really appreciate well. that. And you can't take a second action. Nope, I cannot. you have no goods. I have no goods left, so... What are you going to draw? Well... Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do uh, it. Given the position that I'm in, I don't see why I wouldn't. All right, so he's going to take the treasury card. At the end of that player's turn, Boom. that's the end of the era. So we are actually going to reference, or end of the period, right here what it says here on the player aid. All right, so end of the period. As soon as a player completes two sets of rubble or three of the decks are empty, so it's three decks are empty, uh, finish the current player's turn, which we just did, and then do the following. Each player receives three wigs for each completed set of rubble. I score zero. They each have one set. They each get three. And they cheat. Okay. Then also. starting with the player who triggered the end of the period, i.e. Matt, each player discards up to their entire hand of card, and they're going to be able to get the benefit of one of each noble that they discard. And from what everything I have been told, and uh, I'm sure Julian and Paul will say as much in the chat, it's probably beneficial to discard your entire hand because the cards that come out are better cards I and found more that, powerful. I found that to be the case when yes. we played last time. All right, yeah. cool. All right, so Matt. I only have two nobles in my hand. Well, I actually have one more, but he's got a... a He's got a bad thing on him. But well, you can still discard him. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm, go, I'm going to discard him. Oh, you're going to discard your whole hand. Got yeah. you. Okay. But so. for the nobles... Yeah, do I, do I take the... That? You do not. You, you, take the you ignore all, uh, negatives, only take okay. the positives. So, for these, I will get a gold. 
and three influence. Which is a point in his case because he's pegged. Boom. Yep. So then we'll get to refilling your hand in a minute. Go ahead, Kay. Dan. So I will take another rubble from the pool. Wow, you are abusing that thing, dude. Which I'm just helping out the city, man. <laughs> I'm doing my job. Which then triggers the fact that those. a second set. Now, you do not score for the completed set because it I came know. after the fact. Duh. And I will also take a royal favor. I will take uh, the king's favor. Interesting enough, that would also have caused this to happen. Yep. Had mm -hmm. he done that before. And I will discard the rest. Okay. And uh, Julian's saying that treasury cards are good to hold on to <coughs> if you wish because they give you either these actions or extra goods. You can grab some cash. Right. Or, yeah. All right. So my hand, which you guys can laugh at. Uh, so we have Demaya, Demaya, the king, which does mean no good because he has a negative benefit, so we ignore that, so we're going to discard that. So with Demaya, I have three options. Well, it's not going to be take or put out less state officials, so now we're down to a good, which I only have one, or placing two state officials. I like the idea of placing two state officials, so I will discard that one, and I will take the two state officials. So I will knock all these over, apparently. There, I will take these two state officials, place them out, I will, they must go into different courts, so we will go one there, and I will go, nope, I will go, nope, ah, it's going to give me the lead no matter which one I put it on, we'll actually go to the king. All right, then I have a decision to make about my treasury card, and I'm actually just going to go ahead and discard it. Uh, as well. So everybody has discarded their entire hand of cards. Then we go into the purple deck. So the purple deck is just like the red deck, or I'm sorry, just like the blue deck blue, because yeah. it's only used to fill up people's hands. After that, the rest is discarded. And if you would give me the ships, yeah, absolutely. and if you will give us the rest of the cards, and all right. So no, the browns go underneath the purple. There should be two of each because it's a three-player game. Those come out here. Matt, if you'll take... Here. If you, oh, and these guys go away. All right. And let's see what we drew. Davis is in the purple deck, right? A purple or brown? I actually cannot I remember. I think it's purple. Uh, let me see the cards that got tossed. And I will I will show folks, actually. Doo, doo, doo. Nope, not here. Anybody have it? I think it... I, I thought it was the purple deck as well, but... Do you have it? I don't think so. Hold on, let's see. I do not, so it's got to be in the brown deck. Oh, okay. All right, cool. So the uh, the the promo that is what you're talking about yeah, that yeah. comes out. Here. Yeah, I think so. All right, so here's what we have. We didn't draw too terribly. Flexibility, so nice. All right, so who's up? Uh, Matt triggered that. So, Dan, I believe that begin. Me. So now the end of the game trigger is when somebody has four sets of rubble cubes uh, filled, which Matt has one, Dan has two. I'm doing terrible. Uh, we don't need to talk about that. You guys or are slacking. three of these decks are empty, just like what happened. And with that... Dan, it's your turn. So. Okay, I will. Oh, first thing I'm going to do is clear these two goods from my ship. And Four. get two yep. wigs. I can get those to where they need to be. Yep. And then I will play a treasury card into my portfolio. Oh, that's, hey, there that's it is. That's the card. That's it. That's actually the promo. Yeah, it's just not... It doesn't right, have this Davis isn't the one that... It doesn't have Davis on it yet. Yeah, yeah but this is yeah, what yeah, yeah. will be our promo. It I replaces this card. Yeah. So, yeah, it'll have Davis, which... Looks oh, I lot. thought you already had. No, I, it would be in the game if we I had see. that. So mm -hmm. there we go. All right. So the the text and everything, except for in the bottom left hand corner, you know, heavy cardboard. Da da da. da. So yeah, cool. All right. Yeah. So you're playing so, that. Go playing ahead. this. So I have space for up to four I'm just cards. Super excited because it's mm -hmm. our first real big promo. That's so cool. I can't wait. And it's a VTOL game, and it's Ian O'Toole's yeah. artwork. I mean, it's. It doesn't really get a lot. Of it, it doesn't. So. I get the treasury value, which is five. Decrease that value. Um, my bonus is I pay two less for everything. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Not sorry. Um, Interesting that I'm the only one that has taken a decree card so far. Yeah, I, yeah. I was planning on getting a bunch, and then I just I haven't yet. So for my, I have to either sell or take an action. I I'm gonna produce. So I'll pay gold to produce. So I have two blue buildings, and I also get a plus one production bonus. For each type. Each type. Meaning you get a total of three, three blue. Three tools, now, please. Because of that, regardless of how many you produced, it drops yep. one. All right, so three tools. And I have enough room for that. All right, right. You actually have room for four. I do. And right. I, I played a card to my tableau, so my clergy tile gives me a wig. I, I assure you that was that was very much the plan right there. Yes. Okay. So you're done. I am done. I All just right. need to draw a card. That's funny. You were asking which one it was, which deck it was, and it was in your yeah, hand. I thought you had it. <laughs> no, I wish we did. No, yeah, we haven't I'm got taken a treasury card. All right. And All right. So for me, we will play this out in go visit the uh, the noble. So, we're going to play king card to the surprise of <laughs> literally no one. All right, so we pay influence first. So that's three minus one. So the three that aren't me, minus one. So I pay two influence. I will get a royal... F yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and get a royal favor, which is the only one I don't have, which is Tamaya. That gives me options. And then we're going to go ahead and build a public building. Um, it has to be a blue one, which will cost me two state officials. So I will choose the blue one, which uh, where I really want to build it is here, but I really need a red uh, rubble because that would be an event. I, I would get more money, but actually I forgot that I actually just got a bunch of money. Yeah. So I'm actually at 16 Reyes. Um, Plus, no one scores that, but I like the idea of getting another plan to recoup the one that I just use, or am about to use. So, oh, I'm sorry, that's the green. That should have, that's on that side. They, oh. And I should say, these are double-sided. So, green on one side, blue on the other. Oh. So, the deck, you just flip half of the deck. Oh, cool. Okay. So, we're going to place this here. I will get a plan. And I will take a green plan. there. I take these two rubble cubes, place them over, and finally welcome to the game, Edward. I now have a complete set. So, hey, I can have a three, three of each, which is going to help me for when I produce, etc, etc. So, then I have to pay for the blue plan, which is two state officials. That flips over. So, two state officials. We'll go one where it's doubled up, and we'll go ahead and I, yeah. We'll take it there. Those come back to my tableau. And blue scores. There. No one's built. Nobody scores. And I'm done. Matt, would you like to... Uh, I would, would like, like to, to but okay. I cannot. Okay. Dan, would you like to? Would you care to, sir? Uh, no. I would not. Oh. Uh, all right. Real quick. Paul asks, uh, thought on the wooden bits. Um, oh, great. I think everything is really, really I good. My way. only thing that I'm not super, super keen on, if I, if I'm, we're going to nitpick because someone asked, is the state officials right here, they're loose, they're smaller mm -hmm. than this area, so it's easy to knock hmm. these guys over. However, the way the wigs are on their heads actually make really good handles. Yeah, they do. They grit, actually. <laughs> so that, I think, is really, really clever. So that would be more about the player board. Now, it's indented right there, but they're just easy to knock over if you're clumsy. But like that being said, when I you am. do knock them over, it's like dominoes. It's, it's pretty cool. cool. It is, right. It could be so, a lot worse. Overall, though, I love the Cardinal. I think that looks great. Everything else, I'm real happy yeah. with. I changed my mind. I am following. So I stalled enough to actually give you an extra action. That yeah, sucks. Basically. All right. I decided, ahead. like, as soon as you started talking. Sure. Paid my favor. 
Uh, there are two state officials there that are not mine. Minus one. Thank you. I will Getting dangerously. Move moved. the cardinal. One, two. Uh huh. Yep. No, I'm just oh, pointing out yeah. what you're doing. And That's I all. will take this clergy tile, which makes ships worth plus two influence. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because okay, so I need, really need to get it back. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, yeah. And you're done. So uh, now. That. We need oh, to increase the treasury. Thank value you. Because so we because we passed that good yep. call. All right, so now that immediately fills because that's the end, end of, of the my turn. turn. So the king thanks you for his business. <laughs> and I don't care what anybody says. Ian, this is really damn funny. <laughs> that's my favorite yeah, card. You got, you gotta, it's the you queen ask, card. You got to ask him. Yeah, that, that's Tell that, me this was It's totally purpose. Bohemian Rhapsody right there. It's got to be Bohemian Rhapsody, <laughs> right? I mean, it's got to be. Got to be. All right, so... I love that. Also, it's a really good card. It is, and mm. I... Well, it was for you guys. It's now in my hand. All right, cool. Matt, you're up. All right, well, to show you how badly I wanted to uh, take the king card, I'm going to play the king card. <laughs> no, the red-brown decks... The, these do not scale. The only thing that scales card-wise is the number of ships. Mm. Someone else. Go ahead. All right. So, I'm going to go here. I have to pay two, well, yeah, it's, there's three there, minus one, so I pay two, influence. And because you were not, I'm not following, following, that doesn't count. So, so. I actually have to pay influences. To oh. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. So sorry. So I'm going to hold on to that for later. So I am just going to build a public building. I'm going to build that green brown right there. All right, this needs to rebuild. Oh, yeah. yep, thanks. Okay. So Where are you going to put it? I'll flip that over. Um. <laughs> Ian says, house rule. You have to sing Bohemian awesome. Rhapsody to play that card. Nobody wants to hear that. I approve. I'm, I just, nobody Let's wants to hear that. Let's vote on it. <laughs> All right, yes, it, we'll vote. If I put it there, only I score that row, and I think that's best. So put it there where the tools are. Okay. Because it's brown, and that sucks up some points from you guys, because now you can't use that one. Yep, and you get a tool. Yep. And two rubble cubes. Two rubble cubes. And my building will score there for three points. Uh, six points. Because it there are two public buildings. Oh, so so you were right? You, oh, it's already I've already gotten that three points though. Right? You but just built the public building, he correct? He built that? this one. He's already scored this. He scores three points. Oh, okay, that. okay. I missed this. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. Eventually it could be a three, total three, of and nine. three, but I got right. that before. Oh, so. Okay, total over three different scorings. There you go. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. All right. So that's done. Yeah. <laughs> Refill. Um, I am not following. Uh, yes. You yes, are I shall. Highly favored over there. I, I am, and I shall. So I will follow. So I will play the king's royal favor. Uh, I owe one, two, three, minus one. I owe two influence. Didn't even miss it. I will build a public building. Uh, and looking at this, it's got to be the green one. What I'm looking at is the rubble cubes out there as well as the green, making sure it doesn't score for any of you guys. I take my card. Oh. oh, it's technically not the end of my turn. It's not. We wouldn't know, though. Nope. It's, is it Dan's? No, seriously, it, it, it is your turn. Okay, all right. No, and and okay. here's a perfect example yes. of why the courtiers are yeah, so I important. Like, I would have four cards for. I don't need one more, but I'll wait on you. Uh, you know what? I will all right, I there. have to build the green plan. So I will, and I will build it there, Dan, if you will take that, do Absolutely. the honor. So I will take the decree. So I get one royal decree. I take the rubble that comes over, and oh, hey, look at that. Catching up, at least as far as that goes. So we clear that. That comes out on the marquee. And oh, I get to take a decree, you say. I will take two decrees. 
And that will actually, let me have it. We'll keep it over <laughs> here. There we go. So I will take two decrees. I will do that here in a little bit so I don't bog this down. Um, now I have to pay the state officials, which for me, I have to pay two state officials. And I shall. So... There we go. All right, so two state officials. Oh, looky there, I have two state officials. I now have zero out there. And pink and brown score. Oh, sorry, they don't score. That's it. All right, so I will take my decrees. Now it is the end of your turn, sir. That goes away, that goes away. And I will take the blue decree up there. This one? Yes. And then uh, I actually have to look the rest of these up. So uh, I, I can tell you quick. Yeah, go for it. Want. Yeah, sure. Uh, if for every building you have in the A row, meaning top row, okay, yep, you get two points. If you have the most or tied for the blue, most blue, right. for every one e. in E, most or tied in D. Um, if you have the most or are tied for the number of officials in completed plans of green. Oh, no. Nope. Most officials in completed plans? Yeah, so that's just yeah, like so the majority scoring that right. we're already doing anyway. I like that one. Let me have it. Kay. I like my chances. All right, cool. So now on my tableau, we have these three. There we go. Cool. All right. And now my hands or my uh, tableau size is four and four goods. So that's useful. It seems to be All very right, cool. building heavy. It is. It's it all is. buildings here. And I actually, you know, did like a magic shuffle, meaning making piles around. Oh, yeah. I made like 15 piles oh, yeah, and I then just stacked them up. There are just so, so. many. That, yeah. Right. Okay. Going to visit the king. I can't Seems tell. popular. Right? Yeah. He, well, he's a popular guy. Yeah. <laughs> so there's one state official that does not belong to me. John Lovitz is popular. <laughs> yes. And again, I, w I do wonder if he, if that was possibly... I hope so. I hope that was... Maybe his. subconscious. I think yeah. so. John Lovitz. Yep. The king. So there's one state official that's not my color, but the treasury gives me a one bonus. I will... I'll move the cardinal twice and stand him up so we remember to do scoring. Take that guy. I'm supposed to get two more Reyes. Oh, well, I missed it. See, and I told you. Always. I, yep. Always miss that. Because of my clergy tile. So yep. I guess I can get rid of that safely. Yep. <clears throat> Probably a good idea. And then I will score zero influence. <laughs> and I hear Julian. See? Yeah, I know Julian. All right. <laughs> all right. Go ahead. Uh, then I'll build a pup. But build a public building. Easy for you to say. I'm losing my words here. So I have a green plan. So I'll be building the green building up here. So that gets me a paper towel, please. All right. One paper towel for you, and sir. And thank you very much. Two rubble cubes that complete my third stack. Wow. Okay. You guys are, are slacking. Well, I, well I'm, I'm two and two, two and a third. We're trying to rebuild the city. I, I'm working on it. Matt, Come however, on, dead weight over here. Man. He says the guy who can't score any wigs. I'm more about the city <laughs> than I am personal benefit. Okay. The people of Lisboa. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah. So, sh oh, well, I'll, I'll show you. I have pay my two state officials for the plan. This guy and that guy. And then I score my buildings. So I score the blue street. I have two buildings there. Both of them are worth four points. So I will take eight wigs. Right? Mm -hmm. Now that's all above board. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, that's it. Follow? No, I cannot. Follow? Cannot. Great. Done. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> <laughs> um. Take care, Paul. Thanks a lot for stopping Take by and keep up the great work, all right? I guess I will see you in a couple days. Are you coming to Origins? If not, I will see you, I guess, in Essen, so where you owe me an interview. We will sit down and talk there, all right? Take care, Paul. Thanks again. All right, so I am up. All right. 
Um, I see a little silhouette of a man scattered. <laughs> Better save that singing for if you play the card. I'm playing it. That's why. No, okay. I, hey, I, there you go. Say, that's, you're going to have to sing that's, twice. No, nope, that's it. That's it. All right. Yeah, all right. I am going to play it. So I will pay for, because I have no state officials out here, uh, I pay whatever the treasury is well, at, you, which you is... You don't pay state officials for oh. playing the treasury. I totally, Wait, no. Before you do that, I totally forgot I needed to pay these guys. For your plan. They are gone from that one that I built a while ago. The royal court is mine. But whenever you play a treasury card, you pay the treasury cost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay, right. So there's five Reyes. And you do what's on there. I will place four state officials. I love that. Well, obviously, I'm allowed to double up in this case. I have placed one everywhere. <coughs> and looking at my hand, we are going to place that there. And no one can follow. Boom, done. So here. Okay. And looking at my hand again, because I have the memory of a gnat, apparently. Uh, we will take the king card. Done. Matt, your honor, sir. Oh, we forgot church scoring. We did. Yeah. All right, it hasn't changed, so no, no big deal. That's, it, that's it, fine. So, and we forgot to refill yep. that. Yep. All right, so church scoring on Dan's turn, actually. Yeah. So, Dan, do you want to discard any of your clergy tiles? I'm going to discard a single clergy tile for two wigs. All right. So, two wigs for you. Two, and then I get influence, which is why I did that whole thing in the first place. My ship is worth plus two, so I will take four influence, please. Okay, cool. For me, I keep forgetting about this. I'm not going to be selling gold uh, anyway, so I will discard my one clergy tile that I have. It shows three bumps on there, so three wigs. So I will discard that for three points, and then I will score zero influence. Wah, wah, wah. And Matt, you, sir, are you discarding your one... Clergy tile, which is really lucrative of if you follow, if you, you don't do pay it. influence. Seeing as you have zero state officials on the board, you have a decision to make, sir. But you gotta have gotta have royal favors to make it worth it. Yep. Yeah, and I don't have any of those either. Hmm. I That's do, right. I get to score influence. I should have paid four. Thank you, Peanut Gallery, oh, for, for the one. Nice. Finally, I remember to do that as well. Again, I have a lot on my plate tonight, so <laughs> thank you. I will keep mine for now. Okay. 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 So no influence and no wigs for you. Refill. He lays down. Over. Good. Okay. My turn. Boom, boom, boom. Matt, you're up. All right. So, see, I really thought I had more influence than that. Yeah, give him where that so is. for those that have not played, is it making sense? Are you able to follow along? Has there been enough repetition in the gameplay? To be able to show you, obviously, final scoring hasn't been talked about yet. I understand that. But outside of that, how's everything else uh, following with y'all? Yeah, I'm going to do this guy. He's going to replace this guy. And he puts three dudes out. Nice. And we'll just... One in each. In fact, you must. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. And then I'm going to... I'm going to use a gold to produce. Okay. So you are red? I am red, so I produce two paper towels and two books. Why two paper towels? Oh, because you're have that. extra. All right. So we produce paper towels and books. Books. There we go. That's down. Okay. And he has the extra produce action that's uh, of the buildings on his tableau. Okay. And since I produced books, I believe I shall purchase a ship. All right. So, which normally would cost three goods. It's going to cost me two. Okay. And I'm going to actually, I'm not replacing that one. I'm going to get a brand new one. Okay. So I'm going to use tools and paper towels. Replace and the low-value noble. And when you tuck the ship, 
you get whatever the treasury is. No, nope. um, I'm no, sorry, I it don't. bumps up. Yep. Sorry, the other way. Uh, so it can't and bump I, up. And I get influence, which is now going to be five, but it's going to be two and a victory. I forget what's the goal of this game. Oof. I think it's to to end on one of the blue spaces. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I think that's what it is. And All right, I, that's it. Now that's it. Um, I get a card. And Dan, you're up. Okay. Mm. I will play nice. this treasury card into my portfolio because it is awesome. <clears throat> so first, I get five and race. drops. There you go. And this allows me to not count earthquake damage. When or I build a building. At all, or is at that $1 all. less? It, $1 less is the little minus. This is an X. Oh, None. very nice. Bam. And by very nice, glory to Rome. I'm really happy about that. <laughs> okay. I will use... All right, Rob, thanks for stopping in. As always, we really appreciate it. You sleep well. Too. Tell Phoebe I said hi. And uh, we'll see you on the Patreon Slack channel. Take care. So I, I paid a tool to get a plan... They're getting take, expensive now. Yeah, they are. I'll take... They start at two and green. go up to five. Okay. Take the green plan. When in doubt, take the green plan. Yes. All right. And then I will also... Oh, um, that's funny. He and I said it just about at the exact same time. About the see you on the Patreon Slack channel. That's, awesome. right, that's funny. I'm also moving the cardinal. All right. Move him. In my head, when you place. said that, I heard the the uh, the yodeling from The Price is Right as the dude climbs the mountain. <laughs> in the continue. Never mind. I believe I forget you. You're twelve. Go yep. ahead. All right. Um, I, don't, I don't even know. Really, the yodeling from the, I'm the, move the it mountain twice. climbing. He, had, you know, he. I know the Ricola commercial. But no, no, really. And Help me out, somebody. Really. That's the end of my turn. All right. So I refill that, and I need it. Oh, could you flip that oh, over? You, I <laughs> most certainly can. There Thank are. You. That is the penultimate king card. Wow, that was fast. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna grab this treasury card. All right. So we're gonna build this turn. We're going to build Ooh. with Demaya, which is Portuguese for the Maya, and we're gonna put him out her. All right, so there's two, minus one, I owe one influence. These should have cleared. Oh, yeah. Thank you. No worries. And uh, you know what? I don't have a plan. I'm going to take a plan. I will take a blue plan, I think. Yes, I will take a blue plan, please. Thank you for this. And then I will build. If you build it, I will score. You so what? Okay, so now the stuff. What I'm looking at. I have 12 Reyes, and I have potentially up to 15. Now that people have cleared out some rubble, I'm actually looking at where there are multiple public buildings to where I, I can score potentially 15 points. I.e., if I build there, I'm going. I'm sorry. This one. Uh, that's only blue. So Good call. 10. So it'd be 10. Still, it's 10 points. Yeah, that's solid. Uh, I like points. Could have fooled us. <laughs> well played, <laughs> sir. Well played. Well played. All right, I will build there, actually. So, I am going to build, uh, it's obviously, well, actually, it could be the gold, couldn't it? Mm -hmm. Uh, no, we will build the pink building here. So, I will take another plan. I will take another blue plan, please. Yeah. Thank you. So we now have multiple blue plans. So looking at my tableau. Yep, you know what? I'm going to need one more earthquake damage. So let me have the far side one. This one. Yes, sir. Gotcha. Thank you. Goes on to my tableau. And now we're going to score or pay. So I will pay two, four. Five, six, seven, eight. I will pay 12. Oh, 11. Okay. Uh, minus one. Thank you. I'm glad somebody's paying attention to my tableau. So that's 11, Reyes. I then will 
go ahead and clear the second level of my production buildings, which gets me no immediate benefit, but it works me up towards that one, which I'm okay with. So this will go out there. Then I score for the pink street. It scores once for this one. It does not for this one, but it does for that one. 10 Whoa. wigs. Back in it. Well, that's a little bit better. Who's in favor of that? Who has two thumbs in favor of that? Me. I am. This guy. All right, Matt, would you like to follow? Oh, sorry. Let me, let me re-ask that. <clears throat> are you going to follow? No. Dan, are no. you going? Neither of them have, have any favors, actually. And this is where hopefully I can make some hay. So we discard that. Oh, this is nice to That's where I get two really royal decrees. I'll take that. Good call. I will, that is, we are now dangerously close to having those two stacks gone, but we still have a number out here. Okay, cool. <gasps> All right, cool. Matt, you're up yeah. while I catch up with chat here. Oh, nice. Joshua attended HeavyCon, stopped by the Slack. Hey. Awesome. <clears throat> He's actually setting up with CGE right now at Origins. Oh, cool. So he just chimed in. Awesome. Mm. Appreciate you chiming in. Thanks. Well, I'll see you uh, to tomorrow or this. Thursday. Do I want money? Rob, I really, really appreciate uh, the, uh, the promotion of our Patreon. Thank you. We very much appreciate that. Very much. Welcome, Mike. And I'll let the folks, the peanut gallery, answer. Yeah. Awesome. Thank yeah. you. Letters of Vera, he how caught it. He said, I grew up on that 80s stuff. Thank you. I'm going to do that. Sorry, I'm just going to replace You're this 12. guy. I was um, alive in the 80s. <laughs> that is going to get me four bucks. Yep, and, and this drops because you're playing a treasury card. Okay. Which now, earthquake damage costs two less, as opposed to being free for you, sir. Because it has well, the minus sign. Yes. Yes. Versus the X. Yep. Right. <clears throat> Good graphic design. Absolutely. Then yeah, I'm once you get to... used to it, everything is very self-explanatory. It really is. I'm going to ship two goods on my ship. All right, which two are you shipping? I am shipping uh, paper towels and books. All right, so paper towels and books, which is going to be a total of eight plus shipping it on a plus one ship is 10 Reyes. All right. Yodely hee hoo. Thank you. See, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm really Love glad Love that someone... game, especially when the climber unceremoniously <laughs> fell off. I feel justified or vindicated now. Thank I'm, you. I'm very glad. I'm <laughs> glad someone could, could help you out with that. <clears throat> and, and I that, could not. That is all. All right. All right you good? draw a card? I, I certainly will draw a card. Uh, the cliffhanger. Yes. Thank you guys for bailing me out. I really appreciate that. Okay. I think this is a good idea. I, I, I will make sure that both Brad and Dan see that in the Patreon chat, in the random channel. He posted the Price is Right link. Oh, great. So yes. you guys can see that. Youngins. Yeesh. All right. Cool. I, I may see it and go, oh, yeah, that. that yeah. I, I, have, I have a feeling it will. That's quite. And this is what Bob Barker, mind you, not mm -hmm. this, you know, what's his face now? Drew Carey. Oh, Drew yeah. Carey. Yeah. It's yeah, no. uh, oh, yeah. yeah, good. All right, what is the rubble set count at real quick? Three for me. Three full even, right, yes. for you? And that's it. I've just got one. And, yeah, Matt's lagging. For me, you can see it right here, so I'm at two full sets. and working on my fourth, even though my third one's not full. That pink building should be. Oh, yeah, thanks. Anything else we failed to refill? I don't think so. <laughs> All right, we're good. All right, cool. Okay. Go ahead. Going to visit the builder. All right, I, and I welcome this. Three influence. For me, please. No oh, bonus. that breaks my heart. Oh, really? I appreciate that. It All breaks right. mine too. Um, a plan or state official, sir? I'll take a plan, actually. So I'm going to take another green plan. 
All right. And then I'll build. All right. I believe you. Good. I'm going to build on the brown street down here. All right. Nope. Yes. Are you, are you final answer? Maybe. <laughs> All right. So what's okay. your vote? <coughs> so this is gives me a decree, which will get you two decrees. Two decrees. I want to make sure this is going to work out how I think it is. So I don't pay for those. Right. Which is awesome. You have plenty of money. But I can still grab one. Yeah. You're okay. good. Yeah, yeah I'm, you're fine. I'm good. Okay, so I'll take a decree. Okay, so you can really take I will take two, two decrees. decrees. Right. So I will take the one for the blue street because I'm doing pretty well over there. Now we're getting Bob Barker references. Make sure to <laughs> reach into my pocket and pull out a hundred dollar bill. I bet you, Bob. I bet you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna take the one for earthquake damage as well. All right. So I'm doing okay on that. Okay. Okay. So now, Did that. take your rubble. So now take my rubble. I will take an earthquake damage. And then I will pay one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, minus two. Okay. So seven, seven. rays. And take three in change. And own it. Oh, yeah. And I will your use last... my super production. You're very nice. And score zero points. Sir. Yes. Okay. Uh, I can follow. I'm pretty happy with that. I want to follow. I will follow. So I have a royal favor for Demaya. So I will. But however, I'm broke. I have, I have one real. I don't even have two Reyes. I have one Real. So I'm actually just going to place two state officials. I has a plan. So we're going to go ahead you have two, and... two, in fact. Yep. Yeah, you have two plans. Ha. Uh, I will go... There. Come on, no. it was better. There, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm focused. <laughs> I apologize. That's it. That's my follow. Matt cannot follow. That's it. <laughs> there we go. There you Thank go. you. All right, Thank you. Welcome. Appreciate See? it. Take your card, sir. Uh, can you hand me the builder card, please? Yes. Thank you. All right. Moving right along. Back to my turn. And I have essentially three choices on actions to do. I'm not going to take either of these. I'm going to take one of these three. I had a plan for this one. Based on what just came out. Yep, I am. I'm going to play the king card. I did just place all those officials, so I will play the king card out here. So that's three minus zero. I owe three influence. I have three influence. Uh, I will go ahead and take a royal decree. That's with the marquee, though, isn't it? No, nope, right here. A royal favor. Favor. Royal fa favor. Like Sorry. Yeah, I know what I meant. I apologize. <laughs> yeah. That's what matters. Um, and actually, I will... Take the king there, and then I will build a public building. It, I only have blue uh, plans, so I will build the blue plan. Makes sense. Man, I hate the idea, because that messes with my plan, no pun intended. Um, but I'm going to build it right there. It scores you three points, but it's worth it to me. Okay. So if you'll place this out here, I will. so I will get two water rubble. And a gold. Yep. Which, again, that's going to play into my uh, decree card. So placing this out here now, there, those two, and a gold. I have three state officials for the blue plan in which I must pay. So we have one, two, three. And three. Those come back onto my board, and then we score, and that will score on blue and brown street. There's only brown here for green. Green scores three points. Done. All right. Uh, would anybody like to? F can anybody follow? No, I don't think so. All right. Cool. We're done. Moving on. I will draw my card, and that's that. Um, I will take the king card. So we are on the final two cards for the Decree and the King. We have 
two cards left for the builder, and the marquee has three cards. Uh, three cards of the builder and the marquee. Okay, cool. All right. I'm going to play the builder card out here, like so. Which no one can follow. <clears throat> nope. Um, I will have to pay two influence. Two minus zero, two, so you are red. Mm -hmm. Boop. All right. Fine with that. Um, oh, that needed to be refilled oh, yep. too, by the way. All right. Um, do I want... <laughs> the, the price is right still going strong awesome. in chat. This is fantastic. <laughs> I bet a thousand. <laughs> and making the ladies reach into his pocket for the $100 uh, for the perfect bid. Reach into my pocket and grab a hundred dollar bill. I kid you not. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that probably wouldn't fly now. What do you think? I think we should find out. <laughs> there has to be a way to find out. Six points. I mean, it wasn't creepy back then. That's now hilarious. it's really creepy. I'll take the brown building, okay, and put it right on top. Of, well. Favor one there. Um, if I put it here, that scores twice. Three times. Nope. Twice. Because it's, yeah, it's not on that mayday. road. It's on that road. Yeah. So yeah, go ahead and put it there. So you get a favor, which that will be those. What are you gonna take for rubble? Um, I need a red. And Matt has now completed his second set of rubble. All right. <clears throat> Let me mark that one. Uh, let's go with this guy here. Well, no, that guy there. Oh, one, two, three. So that should be six points. Uh, yep. Did you pay for not, it? Not oh, yet. no, you only paid yes. for it. Um, so it's super the, cheap, though. Yeah, so the... the the rubble that is only worth one to me. One, two, three, four, five, eight. All right, and yeah, pocket change. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> six Reyes left over. <laughs> yeah. So where did I go? Oh, I jumped way over there. Yeah, um, jumped the gap. I believe. And you scored. That's it. No one can follow. Mm -hmm. Draw your yep. card, sir. Was oh, back to me. Yeah, it's humming along now. It is. Well. <coughs> that refills. <sighs> Sorry, I thought I had a plan. Turns out it's all right. Don't. You're okay. You know, just. Got to get up early for Origins tomorrow. Yeah. Take your time. Okay. Thanks. Appreciate <laughs> it. I'll just stay up. Right. I seriously yeah. am considering it at this Getting point. Close. Going to see the marquee. All right. Cost two influence. Oh, I forgot right. to get two my four I forgot to get my two points for my boat. Oh, yes. To clear your ships. Good point. Yep. All right. So, would you like to produce or get a ship, sir? <coughs> produce. All right. So... And you I have, have my super, mega produce. So yep. everything produces one extra for you. So that's... Or one, every, every type. Yeah. Three blue. Okay. Two brown. All right. Three blue, and you can hold that many. I actually so can, yeah. Three yeah. blue and two brown. Yep. So three tools and two books. Thank you very much. Okay. And then I will take two decrees by getting rid of one of my cubes. Okay. If I can pick it up. Be sure not to refill after you're done in case I follow. Right. I'm actually looking at this. D. That's not gonna, well, I'll take this. For tools? Yeah. yeah I, <laughs> how many do you have? One, two, three, four. Five. five. You're allowed five. Yeah. Wow. Just call me the tool king. Yeah. Uh, Maybe not. Maybe don't call me the tool king. <laughs> uh, the king of... Dan the tool man? We go? No, that's, that's dead. definitely worse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dan, the man tool is worse. <laughs> oh, this is oh terrible. Um, yeah, I think this one's going to be the way to go. Grr. I need some of those. 
in theory, that would be a good idea. Okay, so I'm done with that stuff. Do I want to... I do. I will follow. So I have the marquee there. I owe two... Im Ooh, we can pay wigs. Yeah, I will. So I'm out of influence here. So I owe two influence. I will pay two wigs. And I will follow. Yeah, you'll more than and make I, up for it. Though. Actually, let me have that back over here. <laughs> it's just fun to throw it against the board game table. That's thing. true. It is really I want nice. to do it again. All right, hits the edge. I All really right. thought that was going to bounce out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I will take uh, D. Okay. And uh, I will say I already have one on Pink Street. This yeah. is one for anyone's on Pink. I will take that one. All right, so we're now up to five degrees. You can't follow? Right, so oh, you're I done. Now we refill and choose your cards, sir. What do we got here? Builder, please. Maya? Thank you. All right, so I'm up. Uh, oh, that's very cool, Brad. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, if uh, right, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I mentioned it during uh, teaching, but I, do, I totally, fully welcome you guys uh, mentioning that if you can't follow the the rules recap as they come up because it's been a while now since yeah. we did the rules. Um, um, I'm pretty impressed how fast this one is doing. When we streamed it last time, it took a long time. Wow, that's really tempting. It feels a bit short sighted. I. That's worth four points, though. Yeah. No, so what I'm, I'm considering here is yeah, playing yeah, this card here, play which will get me those. Um, and there's some juicy ones out there. However, yeah, nobody else can follow there. I think that's safe. I Okay, I'm going to wait on that. And instead, I will play... Uh, you know what? I don't have enough right. I have no influence. I'm in kind of a bad spot then. Okay. Because I can't afford that. If you don't have the money. I Okay. I guess I will tuck a card. So... Uh, to get influence, build a ship. I need three goods. I don't have it. Eh. All right. I will play Demaya into my tableau. I'm allowed plenty of cards, so that's a non-issue. So I'm allowed four cards. I have three now. So when I do that, I get to place three state officials. So I shall... So that's got to go one, two, and three. Then I will play out here. One is going to produce. I only have a single extra produce now, so I get a gold and a pink, uh, which is paper towels. I will actually go ahead and produce two gold and a cloth. I'm allowed a total of four of each. I have three gold and a paper towel, so we're good there. And then devalue the, uh... Ah, because I... Good call. So yep. that drops and that drops. And then for my second action... Is there anything actually I want to do with the second one? Um... Will? So what I'm looking at is I could accelerate this to be able to get influence potentially, which for every decree, oh, I absolutely will do that with the paper towel. I think towels. that's when you take a decree, you get one. Is it? I what number is so. that? 31? 21. Yeah, 21. 21. For each decree card you receive, you also get a wig card, meaning after the fact. Well, yeah. that's less exciting. It's uh, not what bad. is That's You get two royal favors. You just, just get it yeah. mm -hmm. one time, one time. when you take it? Yep. Yeah, the red things are 
The red things are, I believe you get them. The green things, I believe, are end game. One, oh, yeah, you're two. Right. And the blue are... That will jump. <clears throat> ongoing ongoing breaker, things there. Breaker. All right, so I will do that, and I will take the two royal decrees, or royal favors that I do not have. Awesome. Thank you very much. I am done. No one can follow. That goes, that goes. What do I want to do? Um, so that, that... Uh, I will take Demaya. Done. All right, so we are on the final Ooh, two of the decrees and Demaya. All right, so now let's talk about what happens at the end of the game. I'm not going to go into final scoring, mm -hmm. just Matt started the game. He has the this. giant wing. Giant wing. Okay. <laughs> so if, say, Matt takes this, Dan takes this, I will then get another action, and then everybody gets one final action. That's right. Then we go into final scoring. Yeah. I asked Vital about that. Oh, Why? Yeah. And he said that he doesn't want people to be caught unaware okay. of that. That's why the extra bonus. I disagree with it. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's the designer. I'm mm -hmm. not, you know, he's right. It's yeah. his game. Right. But I like the idea of it's something you have to take into consideration. Yeah. You don't like it. Maybe choose a different card to where you can manipulate yep. it. But that's just me. Yeah. So it's anyway, tough. Matt, you're up. Yes. Hey, Mira. Glad you can make it. So let's go. Let's go for this. I will put this guy in here. He gets me a gold. So you're tucking a card. Yep, yeah, tucking a card. Okay. This one will go away. Because you're uh, only. Uh, you, you don't have, have to. Have enough. Enough. I have for. enough. I have yeah. enough now. You're Never not mind. used to that. Understood. Yeah. Finally. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> so, um, he got me a gold. That gold is going to go... That's what I should have done. Thank you. Down to produce. Yep. Produce cool. is going to get me now... Um, a bunch of stuff. Yeah, it looks like... So your base is two books and one cloth. Two books and one cloth, plus I get one extra, so four books and two cloth? No, one extra. Just one extra. Yeah. So three books and two cloth. Mm, okay, you're no. red. You, yeah, get, so you get... Oh, here. You get two books. You get an extra book or an extra cloth. Oh, okay. You get book... Two books and a cloth. Well, Choose one extra. Uh, extra cloth. Okay. Just there you go. Now that gives me some more options. Oh, Matt Kelly says that's the exact same mechanisms and reasoning as Yokohama's endgame. Oh. Yokohama being a later game, mm -hmm. hmm, I'm just saying maybe take that. You should have to take that into consideration. You could always try it. House rule? Right. See well, we're not going to for this. No, not now. And, and again, I mean. I'm not saying he's wrong. Right. I'm just saying preference. Yeah, wise. give it a shot. See what right. happens. That's all. Interesting. Right. And there, and, and uh, no, we need to. Cabra, I can never say his name. <laughs> Cabralicus. Cabralicus? Cabralicus. Sure. Okay. Phonetically, how do you say it? There we go. Conversely, in a game like Scythe, where the game ends abruptly, it can rub some people the wrong way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, it's a lighter game. I love the ending of that game. We're going to move him twice. Ooh. Okay. Oh, so, I welcome this. Thank you. Yep. One, two. So he stands up. He stands up. We're going to score. I take this Search. one. Okay. All right. And that's the end. Oh, so man. now we go into scoring. Matt, you triggered it. Do you want to do church scoring? I certainly do. Okay. How many are you you're going to discard them both for six weeks? Six points. Dan? I'm going to get rid of two of them for five points. Okay. And that gets me two influence, please. Oh, yeah. And that would get me six influence. So just pick it up. And another there. And I'm sorry, how many points? Uh, oh, yeah. Five points. <clears throat> And two influence, please. All right. I'm and for, for me, I'm going to discard this since it's obviously spent. It shows three wigs. There are three wigs there. And I will then score my two influence, which I am desperate for, which that was plenty enough for me, though. This clears. Matt, take your card. Dan, you're up. And the okay. card will be... Oh, yeah. We'll refill the, uh, this thing. 
Okay. <coughs> Going to see the king. All right. I welcome this. There are three. It's minus one. So I pay two. Yep. Which is all that I have. Hey! Bankrupted in influence. So I will move the cardinal twice to take this, which all of my completed plans are considered to have plus one state official on them. That's huge. <sighs> huge, I tell you. All right. Huge. Huge. All right. That's huge. So public building now. Yes. I have to build the green one because that's all I have. Okay. So we're taking this one and it's going here. Yep, here. Okay. Bam. If you would, go ahead and refill that so okay. we don't forget. There we so go. I get a book, please. All right. And I get these two cubes, which completes my fourth rubble stack. All right. So it's going to end at yep. the end of this round, meaning I get to take one final action, and then we'll, everybody gets one final action. So I have two. Matt has one. Dan has this and one more. Uh, right. Nothing scores. I got my... Oh, yeah. And then I pay three officials for my plan. Okay. So one... Two and three. I totally welcome that. Thank you. You're done, right? Yes. I will follow, so I will play, pay the royal favor, which, awesome, I now owe zero. Nice. So thank you very much for that. I will build a public building. It must be a blue public building because I only have that. It's going to cost me three state officials. I'm doing this a little out of order. I apologize. So the blue one, refill that please, is going to be either pink or eh, pink or gold, huh? Um, that's not a terrible spot. Oh, and that does not refill yet. Right. You're right. Uh, I don't see a reason why I would not take that one. So we'll build it up there. Okay. So that gives me a gold, which is my fourth gold, which is however many I'm allowed to have. New rubble, which completes a third. Oh, now I can have another gold. And importantly, I get to put that out for another decree. So I'm one away from triggering the end of the game as well, for mm -hmm. what it's worth. Um, so now I must pay three state officials. Oh, one, two, All right, Matt. There you go. Oh, you don't. Oh, you don't have that decree anymore, or the uh, church tile. Yeah. But I will clear that off, make it easier for Matt. Um, so then, gold scores. So gold's going to score four, four for yellow, please. And I'm done. Matt, are you following? I can. Should I? I can't build any more public buildings because you have no plans. Have no right. Plans for that. Okay. Um. So it'd be one of the other things. Does it make any sense for me to do that? It may actually to get that. I will give it a shot. Cabralicus. So Cabralicus, all right. I'll pay nothing because it's minus one. Right, you're welcome. Yep. And we'll just go. That's one or two, right? Yes. Yes. Up to two. I'll just go one. Okay. We'll so, that, that so then this the will bump up. All right, cool. That's your follow. Dan, take a card. Refill. Yep. These things. Oh, hey, it's the take two royal yeah. favors. Yeah, there are, there are doubles of yeah. Well, no, it's not that. We throw them back in the bag. Oh, yeah, so. that's I think they're actually out of the doubles, game. Though. If, are, oh, are I there? I think so, because there was one that I had I that also. Don't think maybe there not. is. Maybe but. not. All right, so my turn. Uh, my penultimate turn, actually. So at this point, now is the time. It's either this or this. And I have enough. No one can follow either of those. So that's going to be my final two turns, for sure. Going to need some money for that, aren't you? Nope. Uh, yep, I will. Oh, good call. Well. That's a really good point. 
So I can't make that. So I may have to sacrifice to be able to do this. So to be able to do that, I need money, which is points, and that defeats the purpose. So let's look here. Money isn't worth a whole lot of points. No, I'm looking at I need money to be able to do what it is I'm trying to do. I see. Gotcha. Um, Eh, I could sell goods. Eh. So I am currently three bucks short. So golly, I hate doing that. But I can always produce. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. So we're going to actually have to play this into my tableau as gross as that is. So I will get five Reyes and drop that. Five Reyes, please. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Which now, everything costs three less. Great, now that I have the money to be able to afford it. Uh, so, I can take actions out here. I have plenty of gold. Well, one of which I will spend. What are, the, Matt or Dan, have you already looked those uh, up? Which ones? The, that one specifically, uh, 31. 31, I think it is. Uh, earn plus two Reyes whenever you play a treasury card into your portfolio. That's the game mocking me. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to make it more expensive for you guys to play out here. So I will actually, you know. I do have a marquee card. I'm thinking about taking a plan here. I don't want to take too long and draw this out, but that's only if you if I can follow, but I can't follow because I do not have. Mm. But you could get one. Yeah, but then if I'm spending goods, I need to be able to produce, and I can't do this three mm -hmm. times. Yeah. So that's, I will actually. Tough. Right. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> um so I don't have plans, so that's dead. I don't care. I'm not going to get a ship. I don't need the influence. Uh, it's worth points. I get that. But state officials makes it more expensive. And I don't have different types of goods, so I can't get the ship. Oy vey, Jamil. Um... State officials, I don't need, so it's all about... To... <sighs> this is frustrating. Um, it gets really tough at the end. You know what? I will just take the church, move it twice, one, two, in case you guys do it. Hmm. Uh, I will take that one. Uh, sorry. Yeah, it's worth two. So there. And for the second one, I will produce, which gives me... Gold will go down. Pink will go down. I will produce one pink into gold. And I'm done. Sorry that took a while, guys. All right. And... You want to grab those? Uh, oh, thanks. No problem. And Matt, your final action. Question. Answer. If I took this decree, mm -hmm. can I use these? Yes. Anytime Any, you take anytime. a decree. Mm -hmm. All right, the question is, can I get this done? Four, five, and it six, does not matter eight. what card I take, so there. All right. Six, but i got to pay four. Oh, it scores big. Two. Interesting, they're discussing about the, the ending on the extra oh, interesting. plays. interesting. So, <coughs> cool. I, I have to go back and chat. read that. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can just do it, I think. Okay. Yeah, that's really that that was really tough. If I would have had a plan, uh, uh, that would have made all the world a difference right. right there. All right, so I'll do this, which means I got to pay four. You do yeah. for the treasury, the treasury. which please, means you get to do me with two. Nobody can follow that. Right. You're right, but he's going to end up having to pay influence oh, yeah. to be able to do it. So okay, just uh, ask one, Dan. Uh, give me the pink pink one. On the, the decree, the decree, decree, which also gives me the majority in pink. Cool. Oh, nice. Um, you don't really get any points for these. You really, do not. But we'll put that there. Pay for it. 
So um, take a rebel cube. So that one only cost me one. Nice. Either way. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so you're going to owe two, one, three, two, three, seven. seven. You have two minus five. One, two, three, four, and Oof. five. That was yep. close. So. And discard the money. And that as one well. scores for five points. And that correct. Scores. It does. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Now the decrees. Go ahead because yep. you're done. Mm -hmm. Dan, take your final action. I'll take. What one brown. are you taking? Let me see these. I'll take the majority in brown. Sure. Up here. Okay. All right. Which I have. I will take. For the, now. Yeah. For every building sure. you have. For every building I have. Okay. Just Not bad. four. Sure. So that's. Take two. That's, that's it. Like, and hand yours, my cube. Sorry. I keep wanting to pick up green. I don't know why. And you All right. Refresh. Your final yeah, did, action. Well, yeah, do those yeah. refresh and bef there's, there's no, no one following. Can follow. All right. Yeah. Well, so I should I can't pick those. Though. No, you can't take those. What that you're done. You're done. No, you, I I got one decree for that and I had two cubes. It, it, you, you can, can only take use one, one cube, cube at a time. Oh. So, okay. as I said, you're done. I'm done. <laughs> Going oh. to see the... Oh, I thank you, sir. <coughs> thank the you. The marquee. That is wonderful. Cost me two. Minus one is one. I have no influence. I'll pay a wig. Oh, I get two more wigs because every time... I, that's why I got that. Oh, okay. yep. All right. Nice. For his, uh, for his ch uh, church. Mm -hmm. Yep. Clergy tile. Woo, getting late. Go ahead. I'm going to produce. So that's one, two, three blue. Okay. And two brown, please. Three blue... And two brown. Tossing one of my rubble cubes to take two of these bad boys. And I am going to potentially take two as well once I get there. How many completed plans do you have? <laughs> I, I have one, two, three, four, five. Well, that's not what I want to hear. You should have four. Sorry, Come not on, really. man. Okay, well, this is going to score Glory me to Rome! Four. I got greedy. That's going to score me four... A is no good. E is decent. That gives me nothing. That's no good. That's no good. That's no good. Okay. <clears throat> Bam. All right. Well, there's no reason. Well, it's worth a point unless... Do... Uh, how many plan... Nope. You have to have a plan. So that doesn't work in A. I have none. Two, for every two influence, you get a wig. No, no. N again, anybody in A. Most paper towels... How many do you have, Matt? One. Or tied with? That's worth it. So I will follow. I pay two influence minus one is one. I will take one decree, which is the paper towel one. And done. Can I build a ship instead of produce? I can't hold any of the, the things I produced. All I have to do is toss one book. Go ahead. To upgrade. Thank you. So if you win, asterisk. No worries. <laughs> if I win by one. This is a one point difference. Hey, however Actually, you want not. to sell it. That is a th uh, that's going to earn you three more points. You score the no, whole. No, because this is two. Oh, you're upgrading that. Yeah. One point yeah. difference. Okay. All right. so but I thought you were adding one. Yeah. But I do. I get one influence. Two okay. points. Woo. So if you win by two. <clears throat> All right. So clear it. No, it's like a point and a fifth. <laughs> Final action okay. of the game. I'm going to take this because it doesn't matter. One. I want one. Okay, here we go. Final action. You guys don't get to follow. Nice. Oh, these refill. They're, uh, absolutely they do. Oh, that's huge. Oh, that's glorious. All right, so I owe oh. four Reyes. I need one Reyes back, please. And I will take three decrees. No. Two for that and one for the cube. So, uh, let's go through what those were. W what just came out? Uh, wow. Uh, the second one is what number? 55. 55 says, for each of his architect's plan you completed, so every for blue, blue completed plan you have. Okay, I'll take that one. Okay. I'll take the next one because I'm tied yep. for influence now. And you should probably take the next one too. Uh, which you have the what? most plans. Is it completed plans? Completed, the check mark. Yeah, the check mark is Oh, completed. then I would have taken it last time, but no harm, no foul. So yep. I will take those three. So, wow. That's yeah. uh. Uh, actually, you guys can see those now. So That's we're a lot good of decrees. That, yeah. That is a, a plethora, Hefe, mm -hmm. of decrees. I take my card. This clears. Boom. End of the game. That's it. All right. So we go into... Oh, yeah. Thank you. So now... 
we go into in-game scoring. Oh, this could be really close. So, yeah, I think it potentially <laughs> will, especially after that last little bit. Yeah, that was so, huge. So this all here is in-game scoring. So we're just going to run through it. It's also notated very conveniently right here. Right. Once you've done it once or twice. Yes, it is. All right, so number one, wigs earn... Uh, equal to the sum of the whole size of all your ships. Score me zero points, please. Dan? Three. Matt? Five. Nice. Well done. All right. Then three points for every completed set of uh, rubble. I have three sets here. So nine points for yellow, please. Dan has Jump the gap. four, which is 12. 56. And I have six. So six or two, which is two, six two points. Six. Right, right. All right, then uh, step three is uh, wigs for having the most stores of it, the majority over yep. here. So we'll start with gold. I have one. That that would be a majority. Right. So one, two, three. Obviously, you must have to be able to score. So that's that. Pink. That'd be me. It is, nine, in fact, Matt, six. which is nine, which is 75. And six for me. Hey, I'll take it. And Dan, wah, wah, wah. All right, uh, Brown. Also what can Brown do for you? Nine. Not well done. Six for me. Uh, that's 84 and six for 62. you. 62. All right. And, then and I'm nobody the only for one, third. I'm the only one on blue. And blue will get so you six. Six, six to 68. Yeah. All right, so that's the building store. Then cash out your influence for Reyes. Do but not don't. move this because there are... Decree cards that may affect that, especially in my case, I do have one. So you cash out, uh, and then you get one wig for every five Reyes. That would give me three Reyes, which is zero <laughs> I points. I have four Reyes for zero points. Nope, yeah, that I'm... would give you one. So that's yeah. a point. No, no, that after that, oh, I at... have a total of four. Oh, and Matt? None. So we score none on that. That was unexciting. Wigs from your decree cards. We'll actually do that last because that's the most involved. Yep. So we'll skip that and come back. Now we go into wigs for having put the most state officials to work in public buildings, meaning you flip over all of your state officials and you count. I'll take third. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I'm waiting for him to count. 14. <laughs> yeah, that, that doubler. Oh, that this, added yeah, it. so this gave me an extra plan for two, and this gave me oh. an extra guy on each one. That's dirty. Yeah, let me double check. So that's 5, 7, 10, <clears throat> 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, that's so gross. So that is a massive 15 points right here for Dan. I get 10. Matt gets five. So 15, that's really going to close things up. That's there. 83. Yeah. Matt gets five, which is 89. And I get you guys 10, kill me on the decrease, which though. is 58. Oh, yeah. You're... I think then, this happened last time. Two played. wigs <laughs> for every royal favor left on your board. I have one, so that's two points. That may be a meaningful two points. Yeah, maybe. None and, for me. fellas, you have none. All right. Here we go. Royal decrees. So I'll start because I'm in last. So. Let's, all right, so completed blue plans. I get two points for each one, what? I counted this wrong. I counted an incomplete plan. You take the 15. Oh, F. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Somebody's closer. No, I appreciate the honesty. Thank you. All right, so this first one is um, for every completed blue plan I have. I get two wigs. So we have a total of three, so that's six. Up to 71. That one's done. Then uh, the most completed plans total, I have five. Is that the most? Yeah. Okay, so that's going to be worth five more, which is 76. Uh, most gold, I have four gold left. I got none. Yeah. All right, awesome. That's going to be worth another five. Wow. To 81. Then uh, I have to I have to double check this Most one. Most complete plan. 
Yeah, and most, it, just it, the most uh, equal to or greater than for the most green complete. or yeah. total, just total. Or, completed. Or no, this is just completed. State officials. Oh, state officials. On so oh, yeah, that's going to be another. Same, five. That's right. It was the yeah, same. You as had that. Right. Yep. Correct. So another five, which is up to eighty-six. Let me move that out of the way. So there's that. All right. So this one is for every blue um, public building, I score a point. So one, two, three, four, five mm -hmm. for that. Nice. To 91. Yes. Then do I have equal to or uh, greater than the most in D? Yes, you do. D is there. I have the only one. That's another five up to 96. I get one point for every pink building. Three. Three, Three total. 99. And then 10 more. And then I'm Holy tied crap. for the most in influence and oh I have the most... Gosh. Pink, I'm tied, I'm tied. Uh, for cloth, so that's another 10. I finish with 109. That pales compared to VTOL's 160. 160? But I'll take it. Jeez. Dan, you are up, sir. Okay. My Woo. building's on B. That's one building times two, two points. All right, two. Same with E. One building, two points. Two. Uh, earthquake cubes, four. Four. One, two, three, four. Water cubes, four. Up to 90. Tools, five. Five. And 95. majority on blue, five more. And you have zero points. <laughs> Duh! <laughs> 100 oh. even. All right, yeah. Matt? I, mean, guys, I got five points for having the most there. And 94. And four more for that. One, two, three, four. So seriously, I came all the way back to win. Yeah. yeah, you did. I am truly shocked, legitimately shocked at that. Wow. That was very impressive. That was, So, moral of the story, if the game has end game scoring, maybe... It's really important. Maybe do yeah. that, right? Wow. I, I didn't... Ca yeah, I was in the lead the whole time, wow. but yeah, I didn't have enough end game scoring. Yep. I, yep. I am legitimately stunned at that. I was hoping those build like getting the nine points on those buildings would help, but... Somebody else it got definitely six made a difference. But. That wow, I, I, I'm, I'm truly stunned. All right, well, yay. <laughs> um, don't know how that happened. Okay, uh, so fellas, thoughts on Lisboa and on the production of Lisboa, since this is the first time this has really mm -hmm. been seen. So both take it one at a time. The game itself first. Go ahead. Um, yeah, it's just like you play. This is another one of those games with a a bunch of levers and you pull it and you you're watching the dominoes fall and figure out how that affects everything on the other end um so that's that's always fun <laughs> um, so um basically you, you're doing a real simple action pulling a lever playing a card and then watching it cascade through the game so um i really enjoy that um and trying to figure out how to do it more efficiently than everyone else um, the production quality on this is magnificent. Mm -hmm. um, it is just, it is gorgeous. Um, I mean, it's right up there with all the other Eagle Griffin games. Yeah, the, if, some, the, the highly produced big box ones. Mm -hmm. So you yeah. guys can see, for instance, Vinos and obviously mm -hmm. uh, Lisboa. Yeah, this is on par with any of the others, Gallerist, whatever yeah. that they've done. So I'm yeah, color me impressed definitely on the production yeah. quality. How about you, yeah. Dan? I I absolutely love this game. It's up there with my favorites. Um, You're a big Vitol fan. Yeah, you? You turns out, out right? yeah, yeah, I found this Weird. out yesterday. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I there's just there's so much going on. Um, it's not it's not too much. It's close. Okay. It's close to being a little too much for my brain to handle but it's not quite there. Okay, all which right. Which is perfect. Good. Um, I find that in each game, I realize that I neglect one or two things, and then the next game, I will pay attention to those, and then I just get better each time. I really enjoy that. And yeah, like Matt said, I mean, the production quality is awesome. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. And as far as I'm concerned, I have only played the Gallerist, I think, twice. Uh, so I can't speak to that, and I can't speak to CO2. But Vinos has always been my favorite Vital Lacerda game. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll be honest, I feel like this is going to be competing with that. I, I'm not ready to say that uh, definitively one way or the other. Right. 
but this is definitely in there. I love the thematic elements, which coming from somebody who says theme shmeme really doesn't care, uh, that says a lot. And I think, I think because it's historic, and mm. so I'm a big history buff, I yeah. think that's, that's kind of why uh, this appeals to me as much. Um, and it's a little thing uh, that happened here in the Kickstarter, but I got to say, the fact that these that's really right cool. here that they vary where the different yeah. special ability or the special little bonuses mm -hmm. that you get, whether it's for the public buildings or for the stores, that it has such an enormous impact on the replayability uh, that I'm like, I, I'm, I'm just gobstopped that the fact that I didn't think like, mm -hmm. obviously that should be a yeah, thing. It's quite literally a game changer. It, yeah, it really can be. And I think it can now it's not going to, hugely impact the end result of the game but it mm -hmm. may impact where you choose to build yeah based on what it is yeah, absolutely i'm not uh, we showed these off either but you know oh the, hold metal, up. the metal coins yeah it, it, throw it in front of the camera they can't oh, see up top i can put it right on the dude's face there when, we, when we zoom in <laughs> afterwards um so yeah i am a huge fan of this game and production quality is <clears throat> as good as it gets for a euro honestly mm -hmm. yeah um so I will show the back of the player board so folks can see why they, why the cards slide underneath. But yeah, just, uh, and uh, I mean, legitimately, I'm stunned at the way I was able to come back. Now, it's funny, I was lamenting about the extra action. The extra action potentially won me the game because right. I think I got upwards of 10, 12 points. Yeah, definitely. So and if without that, right yeah. there, right? The real brain burner is if you hadn't have gotten those last two decrees and decided to do something else so he didn't get those last three. Right. What would, would have right? happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah, I, I think we're all at a reasonable level for one another, mm -hmm. which I like the fact that they threw in the extra little uh, leveling for in the Kickstarter, which yeah, I haven't, really I haven't checked that. into those yet. Yeah. But anyway, so, yeah, fantastic game. Yep. Um, some people call this overproduced. Uh, I disagree. I think the quality of the cardboard, uh, super thick, the yes. quality of the cards, the quality of the artwork, um, and just the bits themselves, I think enhances the game. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, would it be fine if it was Winsome-esque? Yes. Is it better because of this? Yes. So that's well, what I would say. Let's to call that. this the $100 question. Do you think it's worth $100? Here's the thing. I'm reticent to put worth on something because my financial situation, which ain't great right now because uh, because I ain't work or, you know, I'm doing this full time. However, um, my financial situation is going to be different than yours, yours, anybody watching at home. So is it worth? I can't answer that. Well, you know. And if you're going to solo it a hundred times and like play Julian 50 did. game. Yeah, I mean, that makes a difference too. There's a ton of replayability. Mm -hmm. If you're the type that's going to play this once or twice and that be that, probably not. If you're going to get a ton of uh, value in it, is it worth, you know, two or three, you know, fine games or games mm -hmm. on a pile of games? Midweight. Then, yeah. Oh, no, not, I'm not saying midweight. I'm oh, saying I see, I see just you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. unspectacular. Yeah then, yeah, I think you can definitely justify it. Yeah. But everybody has to make their own determination. I may have a couple of games on my shelf that may be leaving to put this one on it. <laughs> okay, Very well, there possibly. you go. Yeah. Okay, all right, cool. Um, anything here from the peanut gallery? Let's see. Uh, uh, Anthony says, my, my, my faith has been well rewarded in faith in me winning. <laughs> That's two in a row. On the, I won Kanban, didn't I? No, I took second. I don't remember. Yeah. I, uh, Ash won that. Yes, yeah, Ash, Ash, Ash won, won that. Yeah. yeah, but still, I'm not embarrassing myself. It looked really bad early on, though. Yeah. Um, all right, so let's see. Congrats, thank you very much. Uh, nice tension in the game. One player yes. obviously piling up a bunch of end game points while others are trying to get enough of a lead. Uh, that was really good. Um, Good comeback, thanks. The yeah. coins, uh, we'll show that. The coins, I guess, were a kick, or, are like available as extras, oh, I okay. think. Um, like I said, we've had the prototype now for about mm -hmm. seven months, and they that was in the prototype, yep. and I'm not willing to give it back. So Absolutely there, not. There's that. Um, 
Ian O'Toole says that's the perfect balance for me. The complexity just about sits near the limits of my yes. ability to feel agency in my decisions, yep. which basically mimics exactly what Dan said. Uh, yeah, it's a it's opacity is at about thirty to forty percent. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> worth isn't inherent to the product. The value is the individual. Yes. Right, exactly, Absolutely. and that's what I'm trying to say. And you're also talking to somebody that. Uh, invest in winsome games. Mm -hmm. um, that's a big fan of Splatter, uh, which, you know, the, the graphic design and component quality wasn't always super, super high. Right. Uh, so, again, that's, that's completely independent. So, awesome. All right. So, thank you, everybody. Before we sign off, I will show you guys this one more time. So, people... Actually, I will show them here on... So, this is a little bit more zoomed in. So we have the different coins here that you guys can see, which, like I said, it's metal coins. Everybody loves metal coins pretty much yeah. for the most part. Yeah. So that's nice. And I then I was going to show, I really don't want to do what I did during the unboxing, which was just throw everything in a corner. <laughs> Won't do that. Or with Kanban, not going to do that again. I will nicely place because that was a pain that's to clean. But here we go. So we have the player aid. Okay. And actually, oh, I will do this out here because I can zoom in. So let's zoom in and then I will sign off. All right. All right. So we have not the player aid. I'm sorry, the player board. Player board. All right. So we have the player boards first off. All right. And these are 3D. And I did this during the three the the box unboxing. That's why it was such a long unboxing. So there you can kind of see that these are 3D right here. They're indented as well as the places for your state officials, as well as for your buildings, for your ownership buildings. And the reason on the back, there are three pieces of cardboard here. Oh, sorry about that. Let me stop that. It doesn't like that. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. There we so go. there are three pieces of cardboard that make up these player aids or the Play, the tableau, Player your portfolios. Yeah. The important one is this back one here because of this piece of cardboard right here, which when you're sliding a card, it comes in and it hits that and stops. So that's why everything lines up. And when you tuck it into the bottom like this, why you can see it like so. Now, ship cards obviously are different because those are going to be sideways and you can't see the whole size, so you actually have to pull them back. But it is what it is, and I still think it's a pretty ingenious design. So, yeah, that's that. All right? So, again, thank you, everybody. Well, first off, thank you, fellas, for being willing to do this. I mean, it's after 11 o'clock on a school night, so thank you, or a regular work night. I really, really appreciate it. For everybody that tuned in, thank you for watching live, especially for the peanut gallery, as well as those that come after the fact and will watch later. Um, last but not least, we want to really thank the folks over at Eagle Griffin because they were willing to send us one of the advanced copies so we could show this off. So thanks to them. Lastly, our patrons. Without these guys and gals, this ain't happening. And I have said that if we get this to a thousand, I'll get a tattoo. And by a tattoo, I mean of either our, uh, probably of Davis yeah. is probably what it would be. Um, so if you want to support the show, if you think it's worth supporting, we very much would appreciate it. I'm trying to make a go at doing this full time. If you think the quality is there, if you think that the content is there, we very much would appreciate your guys' support. Patreon.com forward slash heavy cardboard. If all of our subscriber, if all of our subscribers gave a dollar a month, both Amanda and I could do this full time. So just saying, all right. We really appreciate it. Again, patreon.com forward slash heavy cardboard. Don't forget to subscribe at the end or underneath. And last but not least, there's a little bell button down there somewhere that if you push it, it will let you know when we go live. Now we schedule everything and everybody knows ahead of time. But if you want to get a little reminder, YouTube will take care of that. So again, fellas, thank you for joining. Uh, thanks to the patrons and the peanut gallery. Thanks for correcting all our mistakes that we had throughout the play as well as Hopefully y'all had fun because I had fun. I don't know about oh, y'all. Yeah, absolutely And now a blast. I get to go to Origins. So if you're going to Origins, we'll see you there We got the meetup 7 p.m. Thursday at pies and pints. Hopefully y'all join us. Yeah, party while they're gone. 
<laughs> By party, I mean playing lots of video games. Right. Oh, yeah, you're playing Horizon New Dawn, right? Yeah. All right, so say goodnight, fellas. Goodnight, fellas.